What's up, everybody? It is May 11th, and we are going hiking on the, the Cougar Crest Trail. And uh, I'm really nervous because it's a, a seven mile round trip. But a bunch of Pacific Crest trailers right there. PCT people right there, you guys. But yeah, so that's Ray. He is a very close friend, like a big brother to me. And he is, uh, he's not huge on being on, on, on camera, but I promise you he's going to keep us safe today. And uh, I am looking forward to this. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's go do this. It's May 11th, 2023, as I said. And, uh, well, I was thinking about them earlier, but hang on a sec. And then we, we got some snacks and some waters and do you usually just bring waters or do you bring like electrolyte filled drinks as well? I brought a Gatorade. That's what I should have brought too, but oh well. How many waters did you bring? Two each. Okay. Do you think that's enough? That's enough. I have I'm sure that'll be fine. Uh, that's that's all the way to the top, dude. Well, I don't think we're gonna be going that far. We're gonna give it our best effort. We'll try to make it to the bench overlooking the lake. Okay, okay. All right, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> Everything I got is brand new for this hike. So that's Everything the, I'm wearing, dude. That's a trail angel right there, and the people call, and then people come and pick them up and give them rides into town. Oh. You really should give them rides if you see them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All the ones hitch hitchhiking and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, especially if they have their packs. Okay. I've given a couple of rides. And... All right, like, this is going to be great. This right here is ridiculous. I watched people while I was waiting, people come up and just throw, throw that dumpster up. Not even parking here or anything. They just came and brought all their junk. That's, yeah, that is ridiculous. That looks like crap, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So this is Cougar Crest Trail, huh? The Cougar Crest Trail. What's your favorite trail up here? Sugarloaf Mountain. Okay, okay. We're not there yet. No. Sugarloaf Mountain <laughs> is very difficult. And that's where I see the most snakes. Okay. By the way, baby, he, he said be... Oh my God, look at these things. That, that would be <laughs> so irritating, dude. That's it. Nice benches, though. Um, he was saying, baby, that because it's still cool outside, the, like, the chance of, like, snakes isn't going to be that great. But okay. we... Yeah, so... There's always a chance. The thing is, you don't want to put your feet or hands anywhere you can't see. Okay. So if you step over a log, you look over the log first. Okay. If you're going to sit down on a log or a rock, you look all the way around the rock. Yes, we'll see a lot of... They don't want nothing to do with you. Yes, correct. They really don't. And they will, they will normally let you know they're there. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. <laughs> This is going to be so so rejuvenating, Ray. Thank you so much, man. This is awesome. You guys go first because you set the pace. Okay. Because I will just take off on you. No, that's right. Yeah, I know. I just hope I'm not holding you back. But you said... No, no I'm, this is for you guys. Oh, man. Thanks, Ray. Pull the throttle back a little bit. We're, I'm so grateful. I am too. And excited to be with an experienced hiker. For sure. I've not done much hiking. Have you... Nick besides the... Uh, no. Nope. Nope. Only when I was forced to when I was 13 years old. And, th and that was ridiculous because it went from just playing... Well, I had the energy for it because I was in sports every day. But to put on an 80-pound pack weighing 120 pounds <laughs> and hiking 15 or 8 to, to 14 miles a day... And not volunteer to do it. Okay, we go left. Yes. Okay. All right. That way goes to the Discovery Center. Okay. 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 And look, you know, you always pay attention to these are trails, the trail signs, and it tells you which way, and it gives you an idea of where you're going and stuff. Those are all over town. Okay. Is wrong with Yeah. Yeah, they're all over town. So it's only two and a quarter mile. Yeah. Oh. Up to the Pacific Crest Trail. Okay. Then to Bertha Peak from there is another mile and a half of some climbing. Is that where you wanted us to go today? Yeah. Okay. But I don't know if we're going to go that far. All right. We can. Okay. You guys see, you know, 
We'll see how the pace goes. If we make it to the bench overlooking the lake, that's pretty good. It's about two miles up. Awesome. We can do that. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> I've been wearing my new hiking boots too to break them in a bit. So I'm hoping they'll be comfortable the whole time. Really they feel really, really good. They feel really good. Before I wanted to use any moleskin, dude. Did, they, did you get the moleskin thing from Outward Bound? Uh, I I didn't. Uh, actually, I think that's where my that's mom got it. I'm yeah. The most about moleskin. Yeah, because my my mom sent me with with a bunch. You have to, because you get a list that you stuff you have to bring. I think that's right, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> crazy, dude. Crazy. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, I... Oh, yeah, go we ahead. We went through Sequoia and Kings Canyon. Oh, man. Oh, man. I bet that was incredible. It was. There was a birthday halfway through the trip. We were out 14 days. And the ladies on this group took the stuff that we, they, we brought and made a freaking birthday cake. That's oh, awesome, wow. bro. On a camp stove. That's awesome, dude. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how, you know, flour and this, and I don't know what they, they had cornmeal, and they made a birthday cake for Did it person. taste good? Yes. Oh. Especially well, when you're out there with like nothing else. There, yeah. Every <laughs> bit of food <laughs> tastes amazing dude i fell in love with the sardines and that's where i learned about gorp good yes, old raisins yes, and peanuts yes. <laughs> yeah. oh, yes. a big old bag of gorp oh yeah man but yeah those cans of sardines man i i absolutely fell in love with them and and then we 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 got some fish along the deschutes river i think two times that's pretty cool yeah what is gorp? good old raisins and peanuts that's the acronym oh. So it's it's like those big jars of like peanuts and trail mix. Trail yeah, trail mix. It's the, what they call trail mix now. Okay. They didn't sell it in bags back then. You made your own. M and M's, peanuts, yep. raisins. And the M and M's you like the non-peanut M and M's. Yeah, I'd make mine with maybe like. I don't like peanut M and M's either. Really? No, I hate peanut M and M's. Oh, I love them. I get fancy. I use golden raisins and cashews. Oh snap! Peanut yeah. butter M and M. Jeez. There you go. That's the uh, the five star Just Gorp. Yeah. 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 The Four Seasons Gorp. <laughs> Babe, watch out for that snake. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> funny. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, so nice being out. I can't believe I had. It is, right? Yeah, you look like a different person out here. Thanks, babe. So what I told myself, Ray, to get me through this is that we're, I'm lost in the wilderness and it's seven miles to get to safety and I'm going to have to go, <laughs> you know. I play all these mental games with myself just so I can... Did you send your mom our location? <laughs> I'll do that right now. But she was so worried. She wanted us to get air tags. Oh yeah. <laughs> she's so she's so cute. Well, worst comes to worst, I have my satellite box. I got a satellite SOS. No way, dude. Look, look at that right there, dude. You turn it on, you hit the SOS that. Oh, button, no yeah. way. Oh, wow. Anywhere in the world, it sends a distress message. So as soon as you turn it on, then they know to to start looking for you. Oh yeah. Oh, that's my, within ten feet. <laughs> I can also check We're in on the trail. And show my location. So like when I get to the top of the mountains, I check in with my girlfriend and someone oh, that sends, nice. them, sends them a text message and email. How is Nick doing? Good. It's always shocking that Nick's your son because he's he's so like you're so young and yeah, he's because I had him when I was young. How old were you? Okay. I bet this thing was pumping with water for a while. I did. I just was counting back to the snow that was back there. Oh gosh, yeah. When it was deep those days? Yeah. About a month ago, I I tried driving up to uh um 
to Holcomb, not thinking there'd be that much snow on, on this side. And dude, it got really bad. I almost got stuck. We had to back out of a long, long section and it was, it was rough. Look at that. This is beautiful, babe. It is. So do you find that those hiking sticks actually really help? Obviously. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cause I do own a pair. <laughs> <laughs> it's a preference thing. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't bring ours. We only had one set, but you could have used it. I could use one new one. Or it doesn't work like that. Not really. <laughs> Where? So oh yeah. I'm glad to see there's not very many bugs out. Yeah, bugs freak her out too. Anything flying? Flying bugs, too. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Last two days I've been on the, north, on the south side hiking. So how's that? How much snow's left up there? Well, at Bluff Lake, there's an incredible amount of snow. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. I couldn't even find the road. Really? Yeah. Huge waterfalls everywhere. I'll I'll bet. Are you are you are, are you here in water right now, baby? Yeah, are you? No, there's a, I don't think there's much running over here, my friend. There's something wrong with my hearing. Dry. Yeah, yeah. I've always dry. I've always noticed that about this side of our 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 valley. Or the, you guys could go over the couch and walk. Looks like some people are living over here. Oh nah. It, are we going that way? Nope. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'd go right into the hood accidentally, man. Always. Always. Windows up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Locked and loaded. Good. Very good. I can tell it's going to be a bit of a workout, and I'm so happy about that. That's what you were saying. This is like a beginner. Yeah. Really high use. That parking lot will be filled all weekend. Yeah, I've seen all these lots in the summertime completely packed. Oh man, it's so nice being out here. My walking stick. <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't hold on to you. <laughs> How are you doing? You okay? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing okay. Definitely getting winded. I am a little bit too, but. It. At, at least on the way back, downhill. So we just got to get through the hard part. You have wheels to go downhill? <laughs> There's no hurry. <laughs> Nice yeah, Ray, this is maybe the first time since I've had my business that uh, I'm not going to care about starting late. I'm just going to enjoy my life. 
I keep on trying to remind myself that no one on their deathbed ever says that they wish they would have spent more time at work, you know? Right. So. Well, maybe like a homeless person might have said, like, being I should have worked a little bit more. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> How are your boots feeling, babe? Great. Too. Like... Ray said these are really good brands, so. It's the 100% fine merino wool. That's what it is. That's right. For your what, babe? Huh? Oh, for your boots. My boots. <laughs> oh, that's what you said. <laughs> Good, baby. That's what I want to hear. You were having heart problems? Arch. Oh, okay. That other trail that's like a very well known trail on uh, when you're driving into town, what's that one called? On the right hand side, um, you just mentioned it. Trail. Yes, yes. So, trail. what's the most famous trail up here for tourists? Castle Rock? Or we might be on it. Yes. Guys, look at that. Do they offer tour guide service up here? I don't think so. Um, dude, uh, uh, imagine that could be a good little business, right? I think we tried to do that the first year. It was like, uh, in public land, you can't be doing that. Uh, I, I never even thought about that. Yeah, true. I never thought about that. The forest was really weird. Yeah, they blocked everything off. And they want me to have a permit to film at the Discovery Center. See? Which, like, I'll be bringing in tourism. And yeah, they don't care about that. It's all got to be... By the book. Protocol. Yep, by the book, exactly. <laughs> Babe, we're almost up to start getting some views. I'm excited. Woo! Yeah, I know, probably, right? Ray, thank you again. Guys, Ray, Ray has been like a big brother to me. He really cares a lot. And uh, being alone here until I met my wife wasn't easy. My first time completely away from family for years at a time. And he literally took me in some dumb beach kid, he takes me in. And uh, it's been a blessing. I love that guy a lot. Oh, look at these views over here. We're starting to get something, guys. Look, look, look through there. Now I'm totally turned. Is that the lake over there? That's heading, yeah, the lake's that way. Wow, I'm so turned around. I thought the lake was back that way. <laughs> yeah, right? Totally, no. <laughs> Dropping my peanut shells or something. That top one? Yeah. They got 
radio towers up there and stuff. Straight ahead, you guys, that's Bertha Peak. I always hear about Bertha Peak. I thought it was one of the ones that was bare at the far end of the lake, over by Fonskin. That okay. would be Gray's Peak. Gray's Peak, okay. So that's that trail that will open like next month out there. Okay. Still closed due to snowfall, right? Huh? Still closed due to snow, right? Uh, I think the Eagle. Oh, okay. Because it's real close to Eagle now. Dude, this is so incredible. Thanks, babe. Polly, want a cracker? No, thank you, baby. I'm. <laughs> Crackers seem like they might dry you out a little bit, right? Because they're salty. So, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, true. Loaded with salt, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, being out in God's wilderness, it's just, it's, it's a, it's a feeling that I miss. But I never took that step to, to jump out here and actually do something about it. So you've not been I've never been. Wow. Yeah, I've never been. I thought I was bad the only hiking I've done, I started two weeks ago when I walked half of the pedal path. And then the path right behind our house, that pedal path, which is super tiny. I love that path. It's really cute, isn't it? I love the path here, it's so nice with the dogs. Nice tree, mm -hmm. fully just engulfing you. I was thinking that too, but then I thought on our first hike. I think the yellow is okay, but we're a little old. But we'd have to bring water for them and stuff too. Mm -hmm. They have these really cool uh, contraptions that I saw on, on Shark Tank that you just like push the top of the water bottle and water comes up to the top, which is a small bowl. And so you, you don't even have to bring an extra bowl or anything. What a great idea. Oh well, well then I'm I'm not allowed here. <laughs> Sweet, I don't know. A little unruly puppy. <laughs> Downhill, what's up? <laughs> yeah. So people bring their dogs, they bring their little bags, they pick up the dog poop, they leave it on the side of the trail waiting for some mystery dude, poop ranger to come yeah, pick them up. Dude, that's, that's, okay, that's irritating. I would rather you just leave the poop, please, it'll be gone in a couple of days. Yeah. But now you put a plastic bag in the environment along with the poop, and they just leave it there. Wow. So all your viewers know, there isn't a mystery poop ranger. <laughs> there is no mystery poop ranger, guys. <laughs> but if there ever was, it's actually us ourselves. <laughs> I'll pick up most trash, but this is the poop bag where I draw the line. <laughs> I wonder if there's some more sinister stuff out here, too. I have to be careful what I say on the channel though, because I don't want to offend anybody because they've been good to me for so long. Well, I've seen like where the person has a separate bag on the dog's path where they put the food bag yeah. where the dog holds it. Yeah, you get the dog to take his own food. <laughs> That's a great idea. That's I've seen that. Idea. It is such a good idea. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that. Hey Ray, let me ask you something, bro. Do you uh, after the hike, could we treat you to lunch? Okay. And you're still hiking with us. I'm still hiking with you. you know what? I'm just grateful to have you here today. 
Um, if you need to turn around, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not <doing> <laughs> And guys, if you guys can't notice, this is kind of a, uh, it's not that steep right now at all, but we are still as ascending on this mountainside. If it was just you and I, Rach, I'd be really nervous. I'd be really nervous. I'm not even thinking about anything other than just being out here with my wife and a close friend and just loving it. Yes, yes. Soon we'll be soaring because of you, so thank you. So, a video. There's a huge right now. If, if I can walk this weekend, would you be willing to go? I'm going down the hill this weekend, bro. Well, I'd, I'd rather wait, but then again, the waterfall is not going to last, so. It's going to be going for a while, so there's time. There's so much snow up above, especially down at that end of the lake. There's a, dude, there's like, I'm still three foot standing in some spots. No, really? Oh, yeah. Did you guys hear that? Still th three feet in some spots, just at the top of like summit area and even a little no, bit. No, down, no, no, that's not too bad. It's more down towards the dam. Holy cow. The storm has let the snow go right there. Bluff Lake area. Okay. Yeah, as I've learned over 3,300 videos and eight years up here, the dam area, Boulder Bay and the it's dam area, is the snowiest part of the valley. Yeah. yeah. And by the time the storms get to Irwin Lake, it's... They dissipate. It's yep. We have the, the coolest microclimates up here, dude. Like, it, it's... So I was on the Pine Knot Trail yesterday. There's still a little bit of snow, but not much. Tuesday, I was on the Castle Rock Trail, all the way trying to get <laughs> Look at this guy. Lake. And I got doing some snow navigation skills, and my spikes and my gaiters around my leg. So Dang, I was dude! Dropping through some snow. Dang, bro! How often do you think you hike when you can hike, like the time of year? Sound. So what's the what's the most important thing that you get out of hiking besides exercise? Is it what I'm feeling right now? Just like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The views never get old. Yeah. And even though you may hike the same trail over and over, you got to ask yourself the question, are you the same person? Whoa. No. Ser no, seriously. Dude. You're a little bit different. The forest is a little bit different. It's never the same trail twice. That's a great point. I saw a bobcat on the Pine Knot Trail a week ago. You told me about that. There. Was it a, a tiny one or was yeah, a little guy. I'd like to have a bobcat. Dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die. How you doing, babe? Good. Good. I almost hit the mountain lion once. No way. Backpacking in San Gregorio. Trail that went around these steep corners along the canyon. Came around the canyon, it was digging in the bushes. Yeah. I'm like, who the hell's dog is here? <laughs> and then I realized. Uh oh. Because once again, they're more afraid of you than you are of them. But I watched lots of YouTube videos about like uh, people's dangerous encounters in the woods and, and uh, 
a couple of these cougar videos were just <laughs> cougar just jumping and like snapping like that. It's just, oh, dude, gnarly stuff. No, definitely not. Definitely not. So for something like that. Oh, here, wait. I'm gonna lose this. Oh, I'll give it to you later. Oh. Um. Do, do you bring a, a small bag for like trash? No. It, 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 it looks like. Ew. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's a brown tissue. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these nice benches they have here. This is great. I'm not saying that because I want to use it. I'm just pointing it out. Go for it, darling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, out of respect for our friend Ray, we're not going to put him on camera too much here. <laughs> Uh, it's warm. It is. It is. It's warmer than I expected. When we got here, it was 43 degrees, but when we got out of the car, it didn't feel like 43 degrees. It felt significantly warmer. Well, I got plenty of water for you, honey bunny. I brought my bubble gum flavor. Your oxygen? oxygen? Oh, let me take a hit. No, no, it's not let open yet. Like oh. <laughs> it's not open yet. And now, now it is. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> I'll bet this is actually helpful because I've never used it when I actually need it. Okay, let me open it. Yes, ma'am. It looks like you're breaking it. I'm probably breaking it. Story of my life. Do you struggle with plastics? <laughs> Dude. I struggle with everything, bro. Some of these packagings, though, are just ridiculous, too. See, you're doing the zins. I've got my vape, and I need to quit vaping bad. I can feel it. I yeah? Feel my health. Yeah, dude. I'm, I, I mean... I might be those. I chewed for there 20 haven't, years. I chewed for so 20 years. I chewed for 15 years while smoking cigarettes. Oh, my God. While smoking I a I worked oh with a guy goodness. that did the same thing. You must have felt sick. And then time. when I qu quit everything, I got the Nicoderm CQ patch and, and I stayed. make it worse, doesn't it? Dude, I stayed on that step one for a year. <laughs> Sometimes I put two patches on. Bad. Do I put this over my nose right here? No, mm -hmm. I think so. You want to try it? Okay. I'm good. Oh, man. Did it taste like bubble gum? No, it's just like like right away it can rejuvenate gonna it. it. I'm going to start sprinting. That would be the best footage of them all. That literally would be the best footage ever. You would get double the views. You'd eat shit while hiding. They would want to see that. Yes, They're like, finally, he shut up. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, that stuff really works. Really? Yeah. What, what did you feel? It immediately just felt like it slowed my heart rate and just, I don't feel as, as run down. I'm not that run down right now, but... No, that's just shocking, but my goodness, those people, it did. <laughs> Wasn't a huge fan of that part of it. Yeah. <laughs> I just want regular oxygen, but that's okay. You don't want to oxygen? No. I'm trying to cut back on the <laughs> 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 Thank you.
Yeah, these shoes are great. Whenever you want me to grab one of your waters, babe, or snacks, just let me know, okay? You're doing great, honey. Babe, you know what? I think this is gonna be the first night in a long time where I'm actually gonna be able to get to sleep kinda early. Ray said he goes to sleep at like nine or 9.30, which is... Oh, I'm in bed by nine. <laughs> yeah, I gotta sleep pretty early. Oh, look at this. But I get up at 4.30 because I gotta be at work at seven. Oh, okay. So my body's on that schedule. Yeah. Are you still running the lift this summer? Uh, I do everything there, dude. Okay. We're building the ramp. We're shoveling snow to get ready for the bike park. Next couple of weeks is going to be the ramp construction. Oh, dude, that's awesome. And you're part of that crew then, obviously, since... Yeah, that's great, man. Painting, getting everything ready. Guys, it's, it's, it's people like Ray back here who make this place what it is for you guys to come have a great time like he's he's as local as you get his last name his middle name is actually big bear lake and i i i, I never knew that <laughs> look at this Uh, I just got a whiff of what it smelled like at Outward Bound. It's, it's, I'm, I'm telling you, man, like it, it's, and I always dream about going back out there and, and doing stuff like this. And I just never did it. Right. But I, I, I think about it all the time. Watch. I know. Less than 30 minutes from a trail. And I constantly remind myself that if I ever move off, off this mountain, I know I'm gonna live with regret for the rest of my life for not enjoying life while I was up here. Forty-three, not getting any younger. I straight up put off a do this all the time. Heck with a dumping. Thanks, Mom. We will. I'm going to put my phone away now. I love you. How long does it take you to, to, to hike to the... Uh, the summit of San Gorgonio, Ray, from the start. Was, uh, Round trip? Yeah. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just the thought of that. You okay? What happened? Aztec two step. <laughs> Kick rocks, babe. Yeah, I've known my entire life as the Aztec Because <laughs> you look like an Aztec. Every time you do it now, you'll think about that. Every time anybody does it, I'm going to say it now. Aztec is my entire life, you call it. A little what? Like a paw print. It does look like a little paw print. Maybe it's a... a print? Yeah, maybe.
Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. So guys, one of the things I was worried about because I knew that this goes up to the top of the mountain is that uh, I thought we were gonna be going straight up. So the fact that we traverse back and forth. Thank you for helping me. Babe, how much did that small thing of oxygen cost? I don't know, you bought it for me. Oh. That's right, oh look at this view. We're starting to get views, look at that. Look at that. There's Bear Mountain and Snow Summit. And, and San Gorgonio in the background. One more hit. One more hit. <laughs> yeah, just one more hat. Whoa. <laughs> I know, I almost went down. You almost did the Aztec tumble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys i was trying to do the line dance right here and just here you go my beautiful baby So are these paths, Ray, that people over time just created, or is it something that the Forest Service created? This was actually an Eagle Scout project back in the late 80s. No kidding. As a way to get to the Pacific Trek Trail. Have you ever hiked that, dude? Just the portions up here. Okay. A little bit in the Sierra. I took a literally is a, a 15 minute hike. So two years, two years, two years ago with my friend Nick. You remember Nick? I think uh, we uh, went. He took me up there, and we went on part of the PCT. He's he's actually done it from Mexico to Canada, wow. two or three times. Yeah. Very good time, miles. And in breakneck time too. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the dude's a monster. Oh my god, babe, are you kidding me with this right here? Look at that, guys, look at this view. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. And the views just, just get better up there, don't they? Yeah. Dude, this is, Ray, so thank you up. so much. I don't, care how, I don't care how tired you are just seeing that right there, that'll give you another 100 yards. <laughs> god damn. Can't wait to do lake stuff this year. I, and I mean, look at how much snow San Gorgonio. It, it, it's loaded. It still looks like January up there. Loaded. Yeah, it's spectacular. You guys, like that is that is incredible. Oh my gosh! And then so that area up there where it's kind of empty and green, that's the old ski resort, right? Yeah. Okay. That's the old snow forest. Snow forest. <laughs> I mean, what a great location. I just wonder. Disturbing strippy. And back then they made all, all those movies like that and then kids came out shortly after that. Do you remember how messed up that movie was? Yeah. Oh my god, look at this. Look at that. So San Gorgonio Peak is the far left one, right? The, the peak to the very th left. The very left, okay. The one to the right looks higher, but it isn't. It's just optical. It leaving. does, yeah, because it's closer then, right? Yeah. yeah. So guys, that's 11,555 feet. The, the very top left. Not a foot more, not a foot less. Unless we have a good earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll gain a couple inches. Ray, this is awesome. This is incredible. Very peaceful today. It really is. Oh, heavenly. It's got a good watering over the winter. Everything's growing. See, I don't have a perspective because I'm I'm never back here. Right. So this was probably really brown and dingy looking, huh? Well, you know, you can tell the forest is stressed. 
You need more water. Next week, we got possibly two, <laughs> two or three days of some rain and possibly some thunderstorms. That would be good. He heck yeah. And what I'm happy about that is that it'll melt lots of the snow that's still here so the snow doesn't evaporate as much and we'll get more of that into the lake. So guys, we are just above six feet below full pool. I can't believe that. Like, since I've lived here, Ray, I have never seen the lake with this much water. And I remember, gosh, 15 years ago, Stanfield cut off, that road was actually shut off because the water was was over the road. Right, right. Like, like that's, that's, that's how I want to see it up here. Not that bad, but I just... Low. Walked the entire North Shoreline last, last year in four days. The North Shoreline. Yeah, oh. You know, the, um, Stanfield cut off to the dam. Okay, okay. I got about 90... 7% of it, there were like, spots I couldn't get to. But I park, walk, and then walk back to the car, and then the next day I'd start at that spot where I left off. I saw old newspaper articles of uh, folks driving from like Pine Knot over to Fonskin. Years and years. Yeah, I've seen that stuff. Crazy, huh? <laughs> Crazy, dude. But on a graph of the water levels, it's pretty much the same. Like every 7 to 10 years, it's like that. That's the lowest I've seen in 42 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah, guys, Ray's been here for 42 years. So I was one years old. One year old when he moved here. Who were you born in? 1980? 1980. I moved here in 81. <laughs> yeah, jeez. I'm a teenager. He doesn't look old, does he, guys? Oh man, I bet it was it, it was epic up here. Really cool. Nobody, nobody lived here. Well, sure I get Back in the old innocent days, right? Yeah. E yeah, man. My friend Danny got a Mustang out of high school. He's doing donuts in the Summit parking lot. The cops show up and they're just like, Danny, go home. <laughs> I thought that was snow. I was going to touch it and it's a rock. How you doing, honey? You, you all right? Yeah. Water break? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely that. Water break? Oh, sure. Sounds favorite. good. Let's get in the shade right here, baby. <laughs> Thank you for being so patient with us, Ray. <laughs> Okay, honey bunny. Oh, You're welcome. I was gonna use my um, my tin because it has some tea bags in there. And then when we get up to the top, hour bound. I remember having to use iodine to. Yes, dude. You had to use two iodine two drops. To, yep. In the water bottle. Yep. Every, yep. We use water from the Deschutes. Yeah. 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 Dude, that's crazy, you man. You had tea bags. Yes. You guys bring tea bags and you save the tea bags from the night before to try to get rid of the iodine flavor in the water. I don't remember doing that. We did that. Dude, it got to a point where like I I just wanted to pound a bunch of water all the time, so I didn't care how it tasted, but no one got sick. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, it was it was and sometimes the water did not look that great. <laughs> like like kind of brown, but yeah. Couple drops, shake it up. Nine, nine, let it sit for 10 minutes. Yep, yep. Guys, Ray's, uh, this is my first water in a long time. 
Cheers. Cheers, yeah, man. Thank you. <laughs> Amen, bro. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Prost. Definitely getting him out of his comfort. <sighs> water tastes different. The water out of my girlfriend's refrigerator filter tastes like crap. Really? Fontana water. It's not that good. Maybe her filter needs replacing. It tells her when it needs to be replaced. Oh, never mind then. It's, it, it, yeah, the, I saw it, the light wasn't on. I'm just like, hey, this still tastes like yuck. I have a reverse osmosis system at, at my house, and I never drink that water. You never drink the tap water? Well, we're pretty good up here. It's a lot better than down there. I don't even like to drink. Did you finish water. that just now? Oh, no, I put Oh, my here. God, I was going to say. Wow, babe. Uh, yes! Yes! <laughs> That's how you do it, right? <laughs> Say hello to my little That's friend. <laughs> oh, gosh. You found a bunch of balloons? When you find balloons like that in the middle of nowhere, check them because when my grandmother died, all of us put notes to her in, yeah, yeah. inside the balloons and then we let them go. So when we on the hour down trip, we found a popped balloon way up in a snow field at like 11,000 feet. Yeah. And it had a tag on it from a retirement home. And said if we find that mail, there was no email back then. Uh, mail them, you know? Yeah. So we got back down at the end of that hour uh, bound. We all wrote a little letter and signed it and mailed it. That's to so them. beautiful. Pretty crazy. That's huh? so cool, man. With the tag in the, with the letter. No, that's so cool, bro. Like that's. That is so cool. You see that story where some lady put her <coughs> some of her husband's ashes in a note in a plastic bottle and set it free somewhere? And it had like two dollars in it because he needed travel money. The people found the bottle. And added a bunch of money. They they wonder why they shut it down. No snowmaking. Zero snowmaking. Okay. It was an all-natural resort. Wow. They had one lift that went to the top, and then the other lift that's for the Alpine slide now. Yeah, okay. That was their bunny hill. No kidding. Yeah. Wow, bro. You guys, not only incredible views, but some great, great <coughs> local education and history. I mean, that looks like a painting, you guys. That's ridiculous. Give me a kiss, babe. That's so beautiful. I want binoculars. I wish I would have brought them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy some. At least we can zoom in on the camera. I had, I carried a little cheap pair, and I like tell myself, I'm gonna buy some $400 ones. <laughs> he had some really good ones. How you guys doing? Good. It's easier this direction. Yeah. <laughs> Much easier. Yeah. Especially when you're fat like me. <laughs> it's, I'm a little fatter sure than you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys stay safe. <laughs> See, baby's like it's it's a lot easier going this way. <laughs> We're gonna earn our lunch today, babe. I'm excited. <laughs> let's keep it let's keep it g-rated okay <laughs> oh heck no after this i'm gonna want like two double cheeseburgers <laughs> <laughs> we ran into a group on this trail once. It was a big event where people were doing 
long distance hiking for money. Mm -hmm. And the group stops us and they're like, Oh, what do you guys do for uh for uh after workout or whatever? And we're like, Taco Bell. <laughs> 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 I mean, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thai berry and kale salads. And a scoop of glutamine and, yeah, and, and creatine. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, though? Back, w w believe it or not, I used to be a personal trainer at 24 Hour Fitness when I was 20 years old. And I, I mean, yeah, you want to eat, eat well, but if you're really ripping your muscles apart, anything with any protein that you eat it's gonna go right to your muscles and um yeah you might still get a little bit fat but you'll 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 be strong like after this hike i want to just load up on food well, we've got plenty of yes we do last night. ray you would love my meat oh, sauce <laughs> from scratch my meat you sauce meat for, sauce? For, for 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 pasta <laughs> oh, dude, it's so good. It took me seven hours, right, baby? Oh, dude, it was. Oh, don't even start. <laughs> we had a chicken alfredo from a protein alfredo from Mazda's last night with added garlic. Oh. Oh, oh dude. Dude. That sounds wonderful. What did I, so that's where I used to get my spaghetti and meat sauce, but nothing comes close to mine, so I. No, I never does. How you doing, sir? Yeah. Good. How you doing? doing well, thank you. Really and look at that look at that plane look at how clear our sky is today and it's cloudy down there right now it's crazy huh cloudy up here clear down below yeah 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 below, yep. <laughs> yep. it, it would be nice if living up here if we had a nice window to be able to see all the way down instead of having to be on 2n10 or something you know yeah just so you really get a sense that you are way up here i i i sometimes lose lose track of that yeah i'll bet they do especially they really do. especially way up way up at the top right yeah yeah dude oh my gosh did the prices go up since since we bought them okay that's right that's right it's hella expensive yes that's true say that i know it's hella expensive babe i'm so proud of you you're doing so well And Ray is being really, really nice with us, which I, I really appreciate that. Wow, babe. They used to try to race me, and they couldn't beat me. <laughs> and, and then in high school, I did track, like, long distance running. Oh, God. After that, it was over. Heck no. Yeah. Heck no with the track. Huh? Heck no with, with uh, track. You hated hiking as a kid. I hated hiking. I want to tell you why. Because back in the 70s, they didn't push water. Okay, yeah. They had a little cheap aluminum canteen that tasted like crap. Like this. Yeah. And they didn't push water on the kids. And if they did, just, just take birdie sips. Just take birdie sips. Yeah, it was horrible. I'm a water glutton. You know what? This is going to be embarrassing to admit, but... Ray, I haven't had a bottle of water in maybe, what, babe, five or six months? Really bad. What? All I drink is Sprite. I'm kidding. You're uh, my girlfriend. That's, that's, I have Pepsi's 
your liquid of the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah Like, doing this, I would have loved an ice-cold lemon-lime Gatorade. That would be just everything. You can have the Gatorade, but you have to have the water with it, too. Okay, see? You do Gatorade with water 50-50, you'll be good. Take note mentally, Nick. Take note mentally. Gatorade is good, but it's got to be diluted. I didn't think about that. Gatorade with simple water. See, in... You all right, baby? Yeah, no, I didn't. No, really I didn't. Oh. I dropped Maybe my you carry that in the pack. Yeah. empty. I was going to say to put more water in it, but when we stop again, you can Hold still. put more water in it. You, there you go. It, is it safe? Yeah. Okay. Is it safe? <laughs> well, I mean, is it steady or is it. <laughs> you know what that's from, right? Is it safe? Uh, yes. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, what a movie, dude. Yeah, is it safe? Dude, dude, first time I saw that was like back when I first started getting into like bad things. And, uh, totally. And, uh, I, I even quoted earlier on this hike a line from a uh, train spotting, too. You, you, you've seen that, right? Yeah. Dude, what a. What a trippy, trippy, trippy movie. But Clockwork Orange is probably the trippiest movie I've ever seen. Yeah, put more money on it and another note. Wow. And they had a memorial service for him. No way. Back in the water. Dude, that's, that's, in, oh my gosh, Amazing, dude. Huh? That just makes me want to cry, bro. That's so beautiful. There's a lot of good, humane people out there. Yeah, they got rid of his plastic bottle and they gave him a glass bottle so he could travel com more comfortably. <laughs> Dude, that's so incredible. That's so incredible. Speaking of the whole ashes thing, my favorite aunt, she has recently passed away and, and my mom and my mom's sister, my aunt's two sisters, they went down to Mexico last week to spread my aunt's ashes. Sad. Life is life is sad, you know. They went to a nice place in Mexico. Yeah, so my aunt, she's a lawyer, but she decided to just stop and go with her boyfriend, and they lived in the Sea of Cortez for like eight years on a boat and just oh, wow. constantly traveled and traveled. Yeah, man, that's. that's a, dude, I'm not down for the open ocean, okay? <laughs> I'm not down at all. <laughs> I'm a Captain Circle member on Princess Cruises, so I love going on like cruises, but if it's just a, like a sailboat, yeah, there's there's no way. Yeah, it's rough for me even on a, I'd be a little nervous on a cruise ship, though. Wow, Ray nervous about something out there. That's That makes me feel... Open ocean. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like, don't mess with the Zohan. No, 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 no. You've seen that, Ray, right? Of course. Yeah, love, love it. I wish you guys could smell what's going on right here. It's, it's just, it's, it's just mountainy, piney woods. Oh, it's, it's so nice. When my mom had a house in Lake Arrowhead from when I was 10 until 15, that's how I got to know this area up here. Um, the pine cones out there, bro, I've never seen anything like them. Some of them were as big as that rock right there. Oh, yeah. Like, just, just incredible. Sugar pine. And there were rules that you can't take it off the mountain. Wow. Yeah. Dude, technically here, you're not allowed to gather cones. At least it's not like that that bad luck like up in the Sierras. What's that town called? It's like 8,500 feet up. It's not a town really anymore, but it's where they stopped for the gold rush. Um, uh, I watch docu I watch documentaries on it often, and I, I'm I'm a space name. I don't think so. But if you take anything from there, apparently lots of people 
they say that the, like they had bad luck, people died and just stuff really bad started to happen right after they took stuff back. And lots of people have actually mailed the stuff back to the area. Right, right, because they had a bunch of bad luck. A bunch of bad luck, dude. <laughs> yeah. If you take something out of the forest, according to the Indians, you're supposed to leave a, a strand of hair or tobacco. Crazy, huh? Did you know that, honey? No. You never heard that before? My wife's a, a little Native American. Someone made that up, but I still did it for a long time. You know what? That sounds like it would be completely legit to me. Give and take. When I chew tobacco, I just leave my. Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you might get a little rock stuck in your shoe that you're taking and you don't know it. Would you like find a nice pebble or something? I figured someone told me that it couldn't hurt to do it just in case. Yeah. No, exactly, exactly. Just in case. I believe in superstition, man. The Indians knew more about this earth than we do. Oh, yeah. We oh, yeah. In touch with the earth. I couldn't even find my own shoe prints in the snow the other day. I mean, I'm horrible at this fucking prick game. <laughs> So this whole area is chances to find gold, right? I think so, dude. On the pine nut trail yesterday, there was a huge tree that blew over. And it left a huge hole in the ground where it pulled the stump up, right? Yeah. It was full of water yesterday. And I could just see stuff glistening in there, dude. Oh, man. So you figure that hole has been underground for 300 years. Or, you know, at least 200. The, the tree was big. There might be something there. I looked, I looked really hard for <laughs> shiny gold rock. <laughs> I looked really hard, Nick. Wouldn't that be amazing, bro? Oh, man. It totally would. You know, there's this major comet or asteroid, one of the two, that, uh, we found that it's like mostly gold, <laughs> gold and a diamond. And yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. And uh, all these different nations are trying to find a way to, to do something about it. <laughs> Grab it and tug it back. Yeah, totally. Dude. But I mean, it's a huge, huge, huge asteroid, like the size of like Rhode Island or something. Babe, we're getting there. Yeah, we're almost to the views. The view spot. Yeah. Carry mine. Yeah, next time I won't forget that, babe. I always carry mine. And it's not uphill that's so bad for me, it's going downhill. Oh, really? That's what gets me. So I'll like climb a mountain and then at the top of the mountain I'll put my knee brace on for the downhill trip. Because you're in less control going down, right? Oh, or maybe no. just like, like the press. The More angle. jarring. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Mine just hurt like in the back right here. I have like water in my knees and weird stuff going on there. So. Well, if we run out of water, babe. Yeah. 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 Even though it's it, it's like super gross, there's like something about it that's like yeah. soothing. How about there's the mango worms? Oh, dude, nasty. Dude, yeah. Yes, dude, nasty. The them out yep, and... dude, nasty. And do you see how many views those videos have? And I love mangoes, damn it. Why do you have to associate it like that? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you're in it for 
for everybody. Hey, uh, can I, uh, uh, mark your spot? Take her? Yes. Okay. Of you can. All right, let me. <laughs> gotta shut this off for you guys for a minute. All righty. Radio edit. Yeah. <laughs> Hey babe, have you hit any of your oxygen? No. I'm telling you, give I'm telling you, I'm telling you to try it. You'll be surprised. When when we've bought our other bottles, it seemed like a waste because it didn't do anything for me. But right now, holy moly. I just brought it That's that nice big home neighborhood right off of uh, uh, Stanf or, uh, Starvation Flats, right? On the left-hand side. Wow, it looks so tiny. Wow. I literally feel like I could jog up the rest of the way, no joke. Wow. I know, it's crazy. Look at this bench. Makes me feel short. Oh my god. Do you guys see this view? Wow. Oh, wait till we get around this corner right here. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. You look little on that. I th babe, I'm, I'm little, period. <laughs> but at least our organs don't have to work as hard as, as larger people, you know? This is true. Hence, we live longer. Oh my gosh, that's... Oh, smell that, babe, right there, smell that. Oh. Don't be farting <laughs> You're so funny. You are so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can't take it anymore. that you can see just about you know you can see all the way down to the dam yeah. I'm gonna take my pack off on this bench up right how heavy is your pack 10 pounds <laughs> what do you have in it water bottle gatorade two jackets first aid kit first aid kit uh do you have any bear mace or like any no. weapons okay no. I got my, I have a pocket knife. I was gonna bring my- There's like 10 essentials you always wanna carry. I was gonna bring my- Oh really? Yeah, I was thinking, just, just in case, you know? Just in case? Yeah. In case the squirrel across the No, I was thinking maybe like a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Babe. Babe, look at these. That is spectacular. Look at how far you can see on both sides. <coughs> Hang on, Ray. Oh, oh yeah, let's go up there. Oh, look at that bench. Oh my gosh. I got snacks. I got a beanie, I got gloves, I got my new brace. Oh, wow. Ray, this warm. is- It is warm. Great though. And I'm gonna take off my 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 sweatshirt. I like I like it when it's hot like this. Feels great. Okay, so the oh wow, look at that. Is that a crow? Yeah. What is that? Raven. Hey, Raven. Whoa. He's just soaring soaring in in that wind up there. That's so cool. Soaring over California. Mount Baldy, over there. No way. Yep. Guys, look, you can see the San Gabriels from here. That's, wow. You see that, baby? Look. Right through there, you can see, like, Wrightwood area. I can see Cucamonga Peak. I can see Mount Baldy. I can see Thunder Mountain. Can you see Space Mountain? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 
Guys, this is unbelievable. Babe, can you believe how far we've walked? We walked from right where the lake is almost. Yeah. It was about two miles to right here. Really? Yeah. Because it's just a... Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys right? want... If it's all up to you. This is where I think figured you guys would be done and turn around. But it's about another quarter mile up to the PCT. Let's do it. So whatever you yeah. guys want to do. It's totally up to you, babe. I, 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 I won't be upset. I, I want you to be comfortable. But if it's only a, a quarter mile, that's one eighth of what we've already done. Just an eighth. It's nothing. Do you want one of the protein bars? These things. Columbia arm sleeves, no buy. That's a bad purchase. No buy Columbia arms arm. No oh, hair. Ray, thank you so much, man. Jeez, that's 30 now, bucks. Now that I've tried mine, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> she's ripped, though, dude. She's yeah, buff. She's pretty big <laughs> <laughs> they sure didn't work for me. <laughs> I'm going to try to wash them in hot water when I get home. That's probably the smart idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to yeah. shrink them. I already spent the money on them. I can't turn them, return them. Mm. And they are small, medium. Yeah, they won't even go over my arms. And then the large is going to fall off. I'm really displeased. <laughs> Those ski resorts look tiny with this huge background. <laughs> this is amazing. It's Snow Valley, too. Oh yeah. Right oh there. yeah. There's still a slide peak. Slide peak. What's that? That's their advanced runs behind the area. You go up and it's the back part of the resort. Okay. It's really cool. Do they have a lift that'll bring you back up when you go yeah, down? Actually, they have a two-way lift. You ride it both directions. Mm -hmm. Up over a little hill. Guys, can this this view right here? I just cannot get over this. I, think, um, I could come sit and meditate up here. I think for... we're good here, babe. We should head down slowly. You don't want to try and go up uh, just a quarter mile more? <laughs> Why don't we try, and if it gets too hard, I promise you, we'll just turn around. But I don't want you to feel any extra pressure. It's just, we've we've done great. I mean, you're just try... aiming the camera at me, asking me why. Tr try your oxygen, babe. I'm, I'm telling you, that's what that's what gave me this extra I boost. Gave you your powers? I promise you, babe. It really did. Surprisingly. I don't want to waste it for when I need it. I'll buy another one. Yeah, they sell right in the front of Walgreens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I always see them, dude, and I've always thought, <laughs> oh, well, maybe I'll just buy one. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just Christmas. buy one. All right, guys, I'm going to turn the camera off for oh. a, just for a, a quick sec. How you doing? All right, how are you? Doing well, thank you, sir. But I can't, I, like, babe, look at this. This is, and then right there, babe, look, straight in front of us, that's the old ski resort. Right there. Uh-huh, I see it. You, you see that? See Pine Knot Road going right up to it. Oh, yeah. That's Pine Knot right yeah. there? That's the village road? Yeah. Wow. Because it that, that big empty lots at the top, that's right there. No kidding. Wow. wow. And that's the marina. Look at how little the marina hotel looks, babe. It looks like a trailer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't it look uh, like a trailer for totally me? Totally does. <laughs> so funny. So since you got a little bit of a break, do you want to try? We Whatever can Whatever you want. I just look, I promise you, if you say, honey. I really can't. We will turn around where we where we go, okay? But I want you to know that I'm already beyond proud of you for you guys make the call. I'm following you. I guess we're following you. I love you, baby. I'm feeling like she doesn't want to do this. I'm just going to be the big mouth cuz no, I'm no, 55. I'm fine. My mouth, you know, as you get older your mouth filter just disappears. Hey, hey, so, hey, it's like Thank you for him. I got, God you him. know, I, my, my part of my job is judging people. <laughs> no, sure. And, it, and yeah. I've been doing it for so long. I'm really good at feeling people's vibes. Like, they yeah, because know. you have to keep I them safe I don't know how there. to get on this chair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, look, look. No, I do. I'm just scared because I don't want to be in too much pain for work tomorrow, but I'm fine with going. We'll follow you. Okay, honey bunny. It's, it's like, it's another quarter yeah. mile to the PCT and then we'll call it good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
It's it, fine. I'm there's fine. a couple more benches under a big juniper tree. I'm just tree. scared more than anything, but I, I'll follow you. It's fine. All right, baby cakes. Okay, baby cakes. Do you take vitamin I? Ibuprofen? Mm. No. So oh, she. I'm sorry. She takes a lot yeah, of ibuprofen. I do. I take Motrin. Or, like, or Motrin. Like crazy. So that oh. that makes me worry that maybe it's not working as efficiently as it should. Yeah. yeah. Well, when you've taken it so long, it's like any kind of medicine. Yeah. It builds up, you know. So I take like about six at a time, eight at a time. Oh my goodness, girl, that's dangerous. Yeah. Um, you try a leave ever? No. I do a leave. I do a leave sometimes. I do Motrin um, a lot. A leave is the naproxen sodium. It's all this shit's hard on your stomach, hard on your heart. <laughs> As as we as we spoke about when the oh go ahead go ahead, go ahead. no no Try please to eat, baby have food yeah. in your stomach yeah mm -hmm. and then what I do is because it says it's the maximum amount you should take per day I just right. all at once. Oh. <laughs> it's probably not the best thing but you know I've been prescribed by the doctor as well but something about those uh, yeah that could be like eight hundred oh my god those kill me even though I'm taking so many of nothing it just doesn't do that. So, great, great. So two more reasons, guys, Ray is ab absolutely awesome, is that he can read our body language and he's very patient, which makes it easier. <laughs> at, at my rehab in Utah, dude, they were all over the place. And it was so funny when you'd, you'd go up and like accidentally scare them. They stick their butt yeah, right up. The, yeah, right there, and it dude. stinks, dude. Like it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's oh yeah, babe. And it just, it gets your whole, the whole area. Like, oh yeah. These, these little tiny guys. Good bug. <laughs> yeah, they're horrible. Are you want to mess with me? <laughs> 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 Thank you, though. Do you want to try them, babe? I appreciate that. Do you want to? Oh, okay. are, are, are you sure? Yes. Okay. You want one of them? Try it. You want one? And then you can give me your water. It is it closed? Yes. Okay, honey bunny. Like, like Alrighty then. And I think I figured out what all these cross these cross things are for for my uh, bed the 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 bed mat or the uh thank you or whatever it may be that's a good point your yeah gloves, yeah feet. that's a good point a windbreaker So, Riverside Harley Davidson contacted me. Day hiking, you know, you always want to be thinking you might have to stay the night. Okay. Yeah, right? Yeah. So, it's like, you can get these little emergency, I got a little emergency bivy sack in my pack, bright orange. It's like this, uh, this face blanket material. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not, you're not going to be comfortable and you're going to be sweating, but you can survive the night in it. It's like a foil blanket. Yeah, it's, but mine's like a stat. It's like a sleeping bag. So you crawl in that sucker. What's what's that that dirt road right there? That looks like a, a Elite Canyon. Oh, that's the one where we got stuck driving up to uh, <laughs> to uh, to Holcomb, babe. That's the road right there. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, man, that's awesome. That's that the one really that you come up Holy Canyon. Yeah. And then it hits that for the two way. You go left to go to Fonskin. That's the road that goes to Fonskin, or you go right to come up. You'll see the road on the backside. Once you get past the little paved part, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. You can see when we get up right here, you can see the other way where it goes up. The Vulcan Valley. And I'm glad you said that because I call it Pollock Canyon. <laughs> I must sound so so uneducated on my channel. No, dude, I, I don't even know if that's the right way you say it. That's the way I was taught, you know. That's how it's spelled. So I I just thought maybe it's like I don't know. I've been in some of those hundred year old cabins back there. It's amazing. Do you think? They're haunted? Who knows? I, I've always worried about walking inside one and that there's just some like crazy, like a, like a um, Charles Manson type of a person in there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These views. These are the ones that people still live in and use. Oh, okay, okay. They're still 100 year old cabins, you know? I'm. I'm there's talking. A, there's a smell to a hundred year old cabin that you don't get in any other house in Big Bear. Look at this. Okay, so that's looking out towards Highway 18. These walking sticks really are helpful. Are they really, baby? I'm not kidding. It, it makes such a difference. Good. That makes me happy. And, and I own a good set because as I told you, when my friend Nick was living at my house, yeah, but you can you I'll buy a second set for the really good ones. It was like 45 or 50 bucks. I think I think I, I love them. Since since you're using it and you're uh, just just a monster out here I'm definitely gonna start 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 using them on all my hikes and also to help you a bit, too oh, yeah. I'm excited I'm excited to get this part of my life going Then I'll, because you live here, dude. I know, right? Like, yeah. You live here. You live dude. minutes away. There's people that spend thousands of dollars and uh, two hours to get here. That's true. You, you want to hear something else that's, it's, it, it just shows you my track record with this type of stuff. I grew up on the water and I lived there on the water for 15 years and then a block from the water for about 10 years. Hardly ever went to the beach, dude. Wow. Ever. Yeah, hardly ever. Cause I was always dreaming of coming up here to play in the snow. Either I like to be at the beach or I like to be in the mountains. I don't, I don't do good between a hundred foot elevation and 5,000. <laughs> you gotta be at sea. 5,000 or below 100, I'm golden. How do you feel about some parts of the desert, even though it's ridiculously hot? The desert's beautiful, dude. The desert's grown on me tremendously since I've lived up here. Joshua Tree is amazing. It, it really is. Yeah, it really it's is. It's a busy park now, but man, when I used to visit it and there was no one there, woo, that's a good time there. Yeah. Yeah. Way back then, huh? Were the, were the dinosaurs still roaming around there? <laughs> Is that a are, are are we near Fonskin? Is that there's a nice road right there? That's the other road go. That's Holy Canyon going to Hopa. Okay. So right at the top of that little hill right there. There's that. Uh, you know how they have that mining tour in Holcomb Valley? I don't. <laughs> you haven't seen the Forest Service signs and they got the little stops you go through? I haven't. And it shows you the mining history of Holcomb Valley? Never seen it. Well, you'll, you'll see the sign. There's like these big green and white signs. And they got like a little pitchfork and shovel. And it's the mining tour. We need to do that, babe. <laughs> There's some snow right there, babe. Whoa. When I look down at like, you got a little bit. That's why. I, look at. I felt that way too, and the stick really helped me. Like I just put it in front of me. Oh, and it made me like, there is some. Really there is, guys. Really it's the good. first good. first bit of snow that we've seen on this hike, and there's even more down there. Thank you for letting me use. One. Yeah, Ray. God bless you, man. Sure. You're super awesome, man. Sure, <laughs>
The two hiking sticks are behind your dresser next to the bed. Dang, I can't believe I forgot those. I, I've seen them popping out. Oh, I, yeah. I, know where, I know what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to put them up because I plan on doing a lot of hiking. So, you know, I've been here three and a half years. And you need the real speakers. I keep my pack uh -huh. in a certain spot. I don't unload it every time I get home. I put it away. It's always out staring at me. Yeah. Ready to go. All I gotta usually do is throw some snacks in the food bag, grab the liquid, and I'm out. That's what I made sure that I did with our backpack where I could see it. Yeah, dude, same mentality, bro. Keep them ready. They're just. And I mean, the sun's up late. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's up even later at this altitude. You know, right across from the East Ramp, there's the Woodley Trail. And it's a mile and a half loop. Perfect to do in the evening after five o'clock. Four o'clock, five o'clock, perfect. I took Luna on the trail when I first moved here. I can't remember. That's one of our dogs. It was over, over by, the, by the village somewhere is where I took her. And you could hear, I got so scared because it's starting to get a little bit dark and you can hear like the <laughs> that, that's nerve wracking. And so I picked her up and we ran out of there. We didn't even do a mile. <laughs> scary. You know what? Those hiking sticks are good to also fend off some things, too. Since. I saw that mountain lion, I was smacking them together really hard. <laughs> that's something we could definitely see on this hike. I've already heard of a few people spotting them. This season up here, you're one of them. Look at what I've not seen shit for animals on this trail. Really? Just to be honest. Probably because there's so. I've never even seen a deer on this trail. You know, I've only seen maybe two or three deer on this side of the mountain range ever. <laughs> there's not a lot of things over here. Lake Arrowhead, man. Like, like I'd, I'd, I'd see them all the time. Sugarloaf Mountain. I see lots of deer. I see lots of the things you guys don't like, Mr. Rattlesnake. Yeah. Look at this shade. Guys, look at how awesome this is. All right, well, this is a junction with the Pacific Crest Trail right here. So this is that extra quarter mile that you were talking about? Yep. Babe, good okay. job, babe. It seems like nothing. I guess it sounds yeah. like more than what it is. Well, right here, oh, you go so left pretty. to Canada and no right to way. Mexico. No way, dude. I would love Guys, that. look at this. It would be amazing to do that. So if you go left, right, left here, this is the way to go to Canada. And then if you go right, going down to Mexico. Wow, you are a strange looking lizard. They go without a lot of things. Really? Yeah. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how these ultralighters do it. Our outward bound bags, I was so disappointed when I first saw them, but then they were saying if you sleep with like less clothes on your body heat warms yeah. them up too it was the most yeah. comfortable even though I, I i felt like a burrito how you doing sir Good. <laughs> wow you're moving <laughs> uh, time to go down yeah well you have a safe trip down all right <laughs> take care you too. no with the down sleeping bag it says the less clothes the warmer yep be. yep i mean it, it felt like i was a a hot dog wrapped in a burrito really tight but <laughs> man Oh, on the 4th of July, we got snow in the... In the Sierras? No, the three... Oh, the, the, the three sisters? Yeah. Yeah, July 4th, we woke Woo! up and there was like two inches of snow on the ground. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. And back then, I really loved the snow too. So it was, it was incredible, man. That was a, a beautiful area. We found lots of, uh, um, of arrowheads. Um, of I think it's called obsidian 
right? Mm -hmm. Like shiny black. black yeah, black. it's just gorgeous, bro. Because we walked through lava fields, and then some of us that wanted to, we hiked up to the top of a, a crater and camped at the top of the crater. Um, half the crew didn't. They camped with our, our other counselor at the bottom. And for the ones that wanted to, because mm -hmm. dude, it was it was literally higher than from the bottom of Snow Summit to the top of Snow Summit, and like that. But I I still did it with an 80 pound back backpack, and with yeah, with dude, I carried most of the cooking stuff often too. Like oh man, those pots and pans were heavy. Yeah, big old box stove. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> but as I said, man, I fell in love with sardines back then. Now I I, I stay away from them now, but. They were so good back then. <coughs> this is wonderful. Hey dude, turn around so I can take a picture of you. It's kind of dark. Hold on. Let me stand in the light a little better. And with our technologically advanced cameras, we can brighten it too, which is cool. Woo! Let me take your, your picture now. Might take one of both of you together. That would be great. I would love that. Thank you. Let me see if I can fix the lighting. We I can, don't know how to do that. We can do that later, babe. No, you can't. Once your face is not in it, it's not in it. I don't know what this is. I'm about to rip it off and take it down. Killer bee. Killer tree. Killer oh. tree? I don't see any hanging branches. Yeah, I think someone just stuck it on there probably during the snow to remember where to go down. That's, that's... And they just oh, leave yeah. it. Because there's another piece up there. Yeah. Okay. I imagine at one point it was, this was all buried. All right. So I'm, I'm sure you know how to take a picture. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't even have a phone, bro. It, Wait, oh, yeah. my hat. Yeah. Put your Squish hat on. Push it down. Oh. You should put it on, babe. Should I put it on? Yeah. Oh, Is that way you guys match? We're pro hikers now. Okay. We, we made it most up the way of the, the Cougar Crest Trail. You made it all the way on the Cougar Crest Trail. We made it all the way. All right. There's one, one, two, three. Let me move a little closer, maybe. Get one up closer. Get the lake in the background. All right. Thank you. Dude, right? Thank you, man. Oh my gosh! Come on, babe. <laughs> Looks like we like superimposed that image in the back. <laughs> uh, <I> know, right? <laughs> babe, that's awesome. Look at how cute you look, babe. Oh my gosh! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wow, I still have decent energy. I'm shocked. Told you it wasn't that bad, Trey. You were so nervous and everything. Dude, I was so like... nervous. Which was taking energy away from me too. Now, like com this compared, let's let's say Sugarloaf Mountain, dude. Yeah. It is immensely different. Yeah. <laughs> and when when you say that, I know. It's it's straight up, walking straight up. Do I zoom in, honey? Position. Work it. Turn to the right. Turn to the left. <laughs> Cover girl. Hold on, one, 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 one more, one more zoomed in like this where we got. I, I want to get San Gorgonio's peak in there. Boom. Wow, dude. Thank you so much, man. I'm gonna make this is awesome. Those. those are so cool. Do you guys want one together? I would love. I would love that. All right. I know you don't like cameras, but no, I'll take a. I'll take a picture. I gotta force you to take. No, take, no. take a picture with your little brother. Come on, brother. All right, one, two, three, three. All right. Cool. Thanks, babe. I'll send you. Yeah. He sent me a pic when he was at Outward Bound, which is like, dude. 1988. That's crazy, dude. 1988, <laughs> May 1988, man. 
You know so what? look, dude, this is the Cougar Crest Trail the other day. Babe, can you do me a favor? In, in, in the big pocket, could, could you grab one of the waters? Por favor, mi amor. Look, homie. Pull this strap. Well, I'm sorry. No, so what's, what's that do? It pulls the backpack close That would have been water. nice. Yeah. Thank you. It, grab one. What We've got. We, you got? We, have, we have Nature's Valley. And then we've got. Oh, you mean the. The oats. Is the camera on? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nothing but crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, Nothing right? Nothing but crumbs. <laughs> Compressed crumbs. Where, where are they? In what? what? In, 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 in the, that same exact water pocket, but in the, in the, there's a divider on the other side. Underneath the socks, I think. So look, see like, see these straps? Yeah. You pull them, you pull them forward. Pull that forward and it'll pull the oh, dude. pack closer That's to That's so you. much better. Yeah, you're, it'll take you a few trips to get everything dialed in. How you want the straps. Dude, that is like... I guarantee you that'll give me a lot more... Yeah, and you can cinch those down really far. Did you find them, honey? Mm-hmm. Good. So good. Well, this was three miles, you know, it sounded pretty crazy to me, but it's actually pretty easy. So I told you guys, I was not going to take you on. Each trail has a different skill level, you know, and this mm -hmm. is this is basically the beginning. Yeah, it was, the easiest one. Yeah. Now to go to Bertha Peak from here, it does get challenging after this air, this spot right here. Okay. So it then for us, this would be a good place to camp for our summit attempt yeah, right? <laughs> base camp for us right? no look i already looked this is the perfect tent spot right here i know someone has used this for a tent spot it it's is like a, perfect yeah it, it really is <laughs> someone's camped there i'm positive one of the pcts or something and then waking up to that view i mean come on that's something special even down at the edge over there, that'd be a cool camp spot if you There's move some of those rocks. Like Hello. Hello. How's it been so far? Not too bad. This section is relatively flat. Right. Little, little bits of ups and downs, but nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty rocky, though. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> what about you guys? Just out for a day hike. Yeah. Been out for a day hike for like 20 days. Dang! 20 days. Oh, wow! Nice. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. April 16th was when I started. So Good for you. It's wow. all been like a blur. Nice. Is your goal the whole entire thing? Um, I'm probably gonna skip the Sierras. Okay. Because they're a little it's too crazy dangerous. there right now. Yeah. The stream crossings are scary. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about and. Stream crossings are scary. I came to hike, not to mountaineer. Right. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, it checks out. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Colorado. Right on. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Cool. You guys live in Big Bear? Yeah. Yes. yes. We yes. were just there. We did a, um, got in Tuesday afternoon, spent the night, and then left yesterday afternoon. So, uh, it was awesome. Big cool. Bear was great. You guys cool. know about the Sonora Cantina? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazing oh, special. yeah. Right. We've been telling everybody. Oh, they everybody. got a PCT hiker special? No, it's just like their Taco Tuesday. Oh, Taco Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Tuesday. And then they do it every other day from 3 to 6. No, right. what? $5 margaritas <laughs> and six tacos for 10 bucks. You can't beat that. Inside. Did you hear that, babe? No, you can't. <laughs> Sonora, $6. I didn't even know about that. What the Yeah, heck? yeah. And he's been here a long time. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, you got to go. Got to go and... It huh. was really good too. It was really good. Right on. But the prices just were unreal. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was ninety five or something. Yeah. <laughs> Nineteen ninety five. 
So yeah, well y'all enjoy your hike. You too. Stay we'll run into some more uh, hikers coming this way if you're going that way. We're actually. Are you going back down to town? No, no. We're then just don't go this towards... way. Go that way. Okay, thank you. I was, <laughs> I was coming to uh, check the map and I for, uh, got distracted. I got you. you guys. No, we I got you. That. Yeah, this is this is the way back down to town. Let's see if you want to ride. Oh, I appreciate that. No, of course, okay. of course. Well, stay well, safe. Have a great journey. And have a wonderful journey. Yes, you too. All right. Enjoy your day. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's you, beautiful. yeah, you too. It is spectacular out here today. Yeah, they're always the coolest people. Oh, totally. So down to earth. Do they want to do that? The PCT? Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll bring our dirt bike and do it. <laughs> Someday, we, we could work up to it, babe. Just bring goats. Yeah. Bring <laughs> yeah. He's got good train of goats behind. Him. <laughs> or borrow some of our local donkeys. No, it, it's serious business because it's like you know, the trail's not completely well defined the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You know, the trail's not completely well defined, and there's a lot of thought spots we gotta go to this road, and then turn left on the road up to the first brown fence post, and then make a right, you know, type thing. And if you hit the third post, you've gone too far. Right? <laughs> oh, I guess we, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to bring Theo. Luna, she might need like a little thing that I can put her in I grew up. Sure. She can go a little ways, but she's she gets tired. But Theo would love it. <laughs> He's still a puppy, you know. Yeah. He's three now, right? Mm-hmm. How's it going? Howdy ho, neighbor. What beautiful doggies. Okay. Wow, hi guys. Be careful, hi. you're trained to kill. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> hi, what's your name? Fun. Oh my gosh. That's Jackson and Jet. Jackson and Jet. So cute. So cute. Well, thank you very much. Next time, baby, we're definitely going to bring one of our dogs for sure. This is, this is beautiful. <laughs> That's the same question we had. He's like, now the question is, do you want to continue on to Bertha Peak? <laughs> and he just asked her that. I'm like, hey, that's what Ray just asked us. Well, I know in the future I'd be able to, um, once we get a, a few more hikes in, yeah. I, I would love oh, to. Yeah, no, I would. Because she wanted to turn around back there. Dude, we're I'm so proud not, of her. I'm not like, let you. I, I, was, I was just scared. We're not going to go push knees, it any further. I, yeah. Thank you. You guys get a few more this hikes in your love because this is where it changes. Yeah. You got where about another rough. quarter mile of easy stuff and then the birth of peak. It gets gnarly. It's so. gnarly. Basically a fire road. <laughs> okay. That you walk up to the peak. Hey, how's it going? Doing good, thanks. Doing well. And uh, it does have it's it's steep. Okay. People are like, I hate that last part of the bridge. <laughs> but when you get to the top, it's got to be gratifying as heck, though. It's got to feel good. Oh yeah, I've done sunset hikes up there. Oh. I hiked dude. up at 5 p.m., watched the sunset, then <sighs> hiked down by headlamp. <sighs> That's awesome, bro. It's pretty awesome. That's I awesome. do it once a year. I do it once a year. Can you camp up there? You could, but it's... You know, I, I have a hard time backpacking in a spot where there's no water. Because you have to carry all your own water. Good point. You know, because you're going to make dinner. You're going to need water for dinner, for, for breakfast. You know, for maybe, you know, a cup of hot tea before bed. Do you carry a bottle of iodine with you? No, I have a water filter. Oh, good. good. Yeah, heck with that old good. school stuff, dude. I got a pump. Nice. One end goes to the water bottle, one end goes in the lake or stream, and you filter as much water as you need. No, never even knew about those. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be learning a lot more if I want to be doing these hikes. How you doing, boss? Howdy. Good. <laughs> Hi. Howdy. Oh, hey. Oh, oh. Hey now. What's that? Sunblock. Oh, okay. It's 
these are like some of the 10 essentials. You got your chapstick, pocket knife, sunblock. Forgot my pocket knife. Forgot my pocket knife. I I I, I got everything knife. that you suggested. Everything that Look you up, I can't even remember right offhand. The 10 essentials. 10 and, hiking essentials. Yeah. And I know you've learned to use a map and that kind of stuff before. Yeah, but I I probably need a refresher course. Go get a new get a map and don't rely on your phone. Oh, did you go the wrong way? Yeah. That's back to town. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. You too, thanks. Oh, the other guy went the other way too. Well. Yeah, he probably went the wrong way as well. Is someone else that looks like me? Yeah, with, with the earbuds. Yeah, yeah he kept way. going, yeah. yeah. You should call him and tell him to turn around. <laughs> yeah, I, that's yeah, the way down to town. Back to the yeah, down to town. Yeah. He had the same ice axe as you. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 He's one of my buddies. Shoot. Well, we didn't even no. think about it when he walked by. Huh? Didn't even think about it when he walked by. Yeah. Well. Yeah. He'll. Uh, he'll figure it out. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, man. Cheers, You're welcome. We need to put some new signs. Yeah. Ev People steal signs. I'm thinking maybe we were a, a distraction. A little group of, like, people, and then they just didn't. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe a little. <laughs> Friendly and talkative. Yep. Guys, this is magnificent. This is magnifico. <laughs> we just saw your friend. We didn't even think about to tell you, dude. No, no. Uh, <laughs> I should have looked as well. <laughs> Take care, brother. All right. It's like 2,000 miles, babe. Uh-huh. How about for for a year? We can go for a year. My only issue is that I, I can't leave my business up here. Uh-oh, someone already knows I'm getting a beat. Even before I even <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, look God. at that. <laughs> what is it? Sausage, little sausage. A little, little tiny piece. Little tiny yeah. piece. You get one little bite, okay? Since he's being extra cute. Be nice. Be nice. So cute. All right, one little bite. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay. <laughs> you guys are so adorable. Bless you. <laughs> I, I don't have any. I, I, <laughs> they're, they're total tree <laughs> Yeah, I can tell. Okay. Do you want one? Oh, oh. You, they are so cute. <laughs> you guys have a safe. Are, are you going all the way up? Good. Go to Perth Peak. I've never been there. Been here a thousand times. I want to keep going. This is my first time with with my wife. Just to even this point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Take care of you, sunglasses? You, oh, sunglasses. Oh, yeah. That's me. Thank you, brother. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Thanks, brother. Yeah, you, you got it. Take care, man. Thank you. you want one of these? I'm okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye, baby. Uh, oh. Oh. He's like, is it worth leaving them for some more food? Go get daddy. Go get daddy. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, we did it now. I am sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, they are. Give us one more look back. <laughs> I'm like all trying to hide him. <laughs> that was that was adorable. I feel so bad. Bad that's, plan. That's the PCT. Yep. Take care. At me, I'm 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 all pro here now. Oh, I'm a total pro. Just, it, you just stand here all day and tell them. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, totally. I was thinking since we were all standing right here that we could be a toll, you know, a, a toll booth. Five dollars. <laughs> yeah, five dollars. <laughs> I've noticed a lot of people who are extremely financially well off do do the PCT because they can take they can afford to take all that time off. Four months off of work. Yep. A lot of supplies, a lot of coordinating. Sending your stuff ahead. Yeah. I mean, it's it's got to get pricey even just to do this thing, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean. But like we're just day hiking, it's relatively cheap. That's why I like to do it. Once you get all the gear. <laughs> once you get all the gear, it's not that bad. Can you side pocket this thing or side thing for me? This thing? Yeah. That has like a weird. Oh, here it goes. There it goes. Thanks, babe. Yeah. And then Ray helped me with this. It's so much mm -hmm. better. Oh my, that's even. I think you could do it even more. Because it was pulling me back a little bit. Yeah, I saw it tagging. Oops. There you go. It sounds yeah, like it's going to break. It's just a rigid. You mess with your straps to get to what's the best yield for you. Yeah, yep. Nice and tight, firm. Does it this feels hold good. water in it or something? It's got a thing where you can, yeah, where you can fill it up with water. Yep. <gasps> That's so cool. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Oh, you got a water bag? Yeah. Built into the pack. I go big or I go home, bro. <laughs> Water bag, you got to make sure you dry it out between uses. <laughs> to get the bacteria out, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Babe, your glasses kind of match the hat. They're red. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying just this peaceful area up here. I know I'm I, I talk a lot, and it would be nice if I could shut up for a few minutes to really enjoy this. Are you still doing all right, baby? Yeah. Good. Do you think I could get a couple more hits of that oxygen? Gonna buy the big jar of it. Now. Oh, dude, I'm, it's that's all I'm gonna carry. <laughs> it's just a bunch of oxygen. You really feel like it works? Oh, babe, big time. But I was fully exhaling and then taking huge, huge, huge breaths, like f full breaths. I see people use it at 11,000 feet. They swear by it. Really? Do you blow out like that? Hold it in. Hold it in. Hold it in. <laughs> Hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it's almost gone. How many times? Up to 61. We didn't even get close. Oh, you're going like. It's like. Oh, that says one second. One second. What's that going to do? Once again, go big or go home. Oh, that's kind of weak. One second. Dude, 61 second ones. I've been doing five second at a time ones. So that's why there's only been 12 hits in there. So you're supposed to go. Yeah, that's no, yeah, like that's that's and they say that because they know you're gonna use more, so you end up I'm buying up more. It. <laughs> I know. Yeah, to huffing to it. totally huffing it, dude. What is that? Totally huffing it. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we we accidentally grabbed the nitrous one. <laughs> <laughs> Get helium. Your voice is <laughs> there's there's this this other gas <laughs> that uh, you you can suck on and it makes your voice so deep and just <laughs> sound like Darth Vader. It's freaking awesome. Really? Yeah, yeah. I I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, it, 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 it's it sounds pretty funny. Sixty-six degrees. That's that couldn't be more perfect. Right here in this shade. That couldn't be more perfect. Oh, cool, dude! Awesome. 
It's awesome. Once I get good at this stuff, I'm gonna have a whole weather station with me. Right? <laughs> That's just me, dude. I did have a little handheld wind speed thing at one time. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I've been up on top of some peaks where it's pretty damn windy. What's the windiest you think you've you've ever hiked in? 50 plus? I don't think that's strong. Okay. That's kind of like hard to stand in 50, right? It, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've I've can't I've backpacked in San Jacinto and had to tie my tent to the tree. Oh, okay. It was, it was that bad? It was that yeah. bad. And it was a night where the, the tent was basically just folded in half most of the night. It was wild. Dude. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's when you sleep when the tent's just <laughs> yeah. been like that. <laughs> yeah. How dudes on Everest? I was like, just thinking, I was just going to say, like, imagine being at. mile an hour wind. Like, right below the uh, Hillary shelf or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, I, it's, or Hillary step. Yeah. The Hillary step. Yeah, just he was camping there and it's 120 mile an hour wind. Dude, insane. Just, just insane. And they're all just on full oxygen too. It's yeah. Five thousand dollar tent. <laughs> yeah. Made to stand up. And they keep the tents up there. That's so good. They they're for them. everyone. Yeah. They just leave them. Yeah. Yeah. I never thought about that. Those must be super expensive tents. Like oh, yeah. like just yeah. North face. I have a few really, really good tents I bought two years ago. Spent like three or four hundred each, and they're in in my in in my shed, brand new in the box still. Hi. Hello. Like <laughs> yes, babe. Canada to the left, Mexico to the right. Wow, that's really cool. Hey, you should come get a. a I did. Oh, you did. Yep, okay. I did. I sure did, babe. Huh? A picture with her in it. You you know what? Thank you. <laughs> My beautiful wife. Look at that. So once again, guys, if you go this way, you're headed to Canada. If you go this way, you'll end up in Mexico eventually. Isn't that awesome? Oh, my legs are getting a little bit of... Do you need a passport once you get to a certain like, <laughs> part of that trail? Or... There's a checkpoint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Senor Ray. Vamos. Up to you, man. No, it's up to you guys. This is just so peaceful. From my constant going life right seriously man this is a, a really nice break let my business just go just do this i would probably think i'm a little addicted to this I, I do it all the time I well i can see why dude definitely i mean yeah it does i could just sit in the forest and just like this and just sit here i don't need my phone i don't need you know I don't need anything to pass the time. I can just sit here and just be in the woods, you know? It's incredible. And I've, 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 good for you. And I, the only time I've ever seen San Gorgonio like that is when I'm at the top of Snow Summit. Right? Yeah. I've, I've never seen this view like this. Imagine when skiing ready, down. You go up there and look this way. Yes. Well, what? So, so yeah, yeah. Some, we're probably gonna have to bring camping stuff though. So, Stay at night. Yeah. That that's when I'll 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 have to bring my just in case. Oh God! You don't even need to. Do you want to carry <laughs> that thing? No. <laughs> I is? have never had a problem once. Really? Never. Okay. Ever once. I'm talking about bears, not like other people. I you I you you bring bear you either a bear can or you hang your food. You don't mess when they don't mess with you. Okay. I literally have never. What you had... tell me regarding this is is absolute gospel. So I will absolutely and listen I've had to you. Campers that didn't store their food properly, less than 100 feet from me, and the bears destroyed everything, and didn't touch us at all. You leave your backpack open, 
So that way, if they get nosy, they can nose through it without having to tear anything open. Never even thought about that idea. Oh, yeah. You That's leave smart. your pack open at night, you know, out so they can nose through it if they need to. You leave anything with a scent goes in a bear can. That's like chapstick. I mean, everything. Sunblock. Toothpaste. That piece of gum you had in your pocket. So a bear can's a scent proof can then, right? Not scent proof, but it's bear proof. Bear proof, okay, okay. Heavy plastic with no edges where they can get a nail in. Wow, that's awesome. I never even would have thought about stuff like that. It makes a great seat for when, you're not, for when you're around camp. They're really good. You can sit on them. You don't want to put it near a cliff because if they start playing with it and knock it over a cliff, then you could be having problems. You know I've your stuff. I've never even had my bear can disturbed. Never once. And that's a lot of hiking, a lot of camping. Yeah, I'm. If 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 you're not so worried about it, I'm just gonna do what I need to do, but I'm not gonna be overly uh, zealous about. Don't get me wrong. My... I would love to carry something like that just for fun, but the weight. It it is. It's a heavy piece. You're heavy. Yeah. It's a lot of weight. It is, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably about a third of what I've got in this pack right now. I have friends that would drink a lot of beer, and they would, like, try to bring a lot of beer camping, <laughs> and it's really tough. Yeah, like, that's not happening. <laughs> really, really tough. All right, baby, what do you think? I think it's beautiful. You want to start heading down? Oh, look at the lizard doing push-ups. You see him? Where? Over there on that rock. Little guy, he's straight over there. I... You have good eyes. Oh yeah, oh there oh is. yeah. There he is. He was doing push-ups a minute ago. <laughs> That's why he looks ripped. So... <laughs> Ooh, was uh, that a pop? All the time, on my knees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. From all the years of constant sports, man. <laughs> sucks getting old on. It does, dude. <laughs> it sucks getting it old on, bro. <laughs> All right, well. I think your chick's enjoying herself. I, dude, I'm so stoked. I am so stoked. And I'm also stoked because I'm going to be able to, if I can just uh, fend off a nap, I'll be able to sleep really well tonight. And look, you could come do this tomorrow and the next day and yeah. the next day. Yeah, and it's free. And it's free. Yeah. Well, you got to get yourself one of those passes for the park. Oh, park. yeah. And those park. are what, like 15 bucks or something? 30 bucks. 30 bucks for the whole year? Yeah. And right. you can even get a second. You, I got, you're using the second vehicle permit right now, which is five more bucks. Oh, that's... So you can get two of them for 35 Perfect. Perfect. You ready to go back down? She's absorbing the wood. No, yet no, yes she is. I get it. Yes she is. I'm really proud of you, babe. Thank you. You, you did a great job. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> How are those boots working out for you guys? Great. Feeling great. Yeah, feeling They're great. Awesome. Merrill's got some with some some uh, ankle support. Yes, because I'll tell you what happened is last year I went with a a group of people. I knew the one guy. I didn't know the rest of the people, and we ended up getting high up there. And one of the ladies had low uh, top hiking. I remember so I told you told me her, about it. Yeah, she rolled her ankle, and we're miles from the trailhead, and we're like, okay, this will be all right. We'll just these guys are like, we'll just carry her down. Oh, oh no, it didn't work. They didn't work out. We had these big marine guys show up. They carried her for about a mile. And I was like, this isn't going to work. They did the search and rescue didn't get them out of there till like 4:30 in the morning. Oh no. Do you remember I was telling you about that? Like oh, like uh, yeah. I had to leave because what I learned from that mistake is I had these are prescription and I have clear glasses for the evening. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't have my clear glasses and it was getting oh. dark. Oh no. So I'm like, I gotta leave guys because in a few hours I'm not gonna be able to see. I have a headlamp. I always carry a headlamp with spare batteries, but I wasn't gonna be able to see. So I'm like, I'm sorry, I gotta go. So I had to freaking get to the tram station before the sun went down. Oh wow. And you said so that now was... my thing is when I go on a big hike or somewhere, I will always carry my glasses with me in case I'm stuck overnight or at night. Yeah, as... I don't want to be blind. That has got to be. I would. I was terrified, dude. I was like in a pan. I had like an anxiety attack. I was like, I feel so bad for leaving you, but I don't have glasses and I can't stay with you. I gotta go, and I just like your eyesight. I ran. That... I ran away. My eyesight. It's that, that bad. bad, huh? It's that bad. Okay. It's not bad, but. You know, you're in the woods, you're trying to walk down a trail at night. No, totally. Yeah. By a simple headlamp. <laughs> That's what I forgot. I forgot to put my contacts in today. How? They were in your hat. I set them down and then I, I just forgot. Can you see? I can see fine. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, 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 it, I see a lot better when I have my, uh, you guys got everything. <laughs> Uh, did you get Whenever we stop? That's one thing I always do before I leave is make sure everyone's got your phone. Go make sure. Yep, got my phone, got my right, that little good. lizard. Go walk by him. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many right here. <laughs> what? Lizard? Lizards? Yeah. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Why is that? Because it means it was a good winner. Oh. You're basically the only creature we will see out here. Except for that rattlesnake right there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dave. I don't mind the lizard so much, but just anything that... The crawly? Yeah, but yes, exactly. The crawly? Exactly. But we went on the... What was it? The pedal tastic? Yes. And um, we saw some really cool lizards. Some interest, Some that I've I've never seen. Uh, yeah. Just so, so, so colorful and odd looking. And then two of them went at it, dude. And I mean, you want to talk about violence, bro? Lizard battle, dude. It was lizard wars. lizard wars, dude. Yeah, they they battled it out. It was pretty nuts. Oh. Lizard wars. I was just gonna say 2023. That's funny you said that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Ray, we're on the the same wavelength. So look, there's the, the fire lookout right there in front of us on that snow mountain. Straight ahead. That's Butler Peak. Okay. This one's birthday. That one's Butler, where the fire lookout is. That's the one where it's like not it's not a pro building, right? It's like that old that old school four sided. Okay, yeah. windows on each you know. Yeah, I've been there before. Yeah. You've been up there, have you, Nick? I've never been up there. You never yeah, been I up think there? you have. Oh, well, if, if it's someplace you can drive, I've probably been there. That's what I'm saying. It's the fire lookout. May yeah, 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 maybe. If it's if it's drivable, then probably. Because I've, I've tried to take every road up here I can. You go up the big old stairs, and they got the... I mean, it looks out over everything. How do you, uh, so you get to Butler Peak through Fawnskin? Yeah. Okay. Big hand of black. Okay. Towards that way. You know what I would love to see? A bald eagle. That'd be pretty cool. That would be awesome. One of the two? Jackie or Shadow? Any bald eagle would be fine. Are, are those... Uh, she pointed out one time when we were on Stanfield Cutoff about a month and a half or two months ago, uh, right in the water or like on the edge, there, the there are like five or six of them. Wow. Yeah, and I'd never seen one up here ever. There was no place to park 
all those spots were all taken. So Take a tumble down that thing, jeez. <laughs> So I ran into a buddy slash customer of mine last night at Vaughn's and he works at, at Jersey Mike's now. And he was telling me, dude, honest to goodness, anytime that I'm working, you can come in and get 50% sandwiches. Wow. Yeah. Where? Jersey Mike's. Yeah, that's so nice of him. And it's still expensive at that price, but it's, it's, it's a lot better. For their giant sandwiches, I pay like like eighteen fifty or something. There, it's crazy, and and I'll eat the whole thing. You'll eat one of those big ones. Yeah, dude. Yeah. How? I don't know, bro. Oh, <laughs> dude, dude, I have no idea. What I are those called the regular. Giant. Oh yeah, yeah, regular, right? yeah. Yours is is called the regular. Mine's called the giant. The giant. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> 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 Usually that's what I Except used to do. <laughs> I'm impressed. Bro. Thank you. He bought it, I thought we were splitting it, and then he pulled out mine. <laughs> 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 Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing out of the way. Oh, Sam, this is so good. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can really eat a lot. I'm impressed. And especially when. When she cooks, man, jeez, I'll save my appetite for the whole whole day, and then, like, oh man, eat just the biggest plate of food. I am so. This is. I'm so. Now, like the weekends, I go down to my girl's house. I'm not working weekends right now. And we just go out to eat every time. And I come home on Monday and be like, oh my God, I can't even move. <laughs> it's like Thanksgiving every weekend for you. <laughs> but you know what? It's it's nice letting loose like that, though. Especially... You know, that's the thing about being down the hill is the variety. Yes. Oh my God. You can pick whatever the yeah. hell you want that's not even close to anything here. Oh my God. It's like Gorge City. Yeah, you can oh just be like... Gosh. I have the rule, if I go down the hill, there's no fast food that's in Big Bear. No. <laughs> I told Nick the last time I was out in LA, I ate so much, I was at my mom's house and I wanted to cry. I was so <laughs> poor. I was like, oh my god, the whole so time. But even at that point, I still was thinking about what I wanted to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Her family does like like they're they're from barbecuing every day. That's they're from that culture where it's yeah. there's just so much amazing food constantly every being cooked day, all day, day, dude, all day. Great food. That's what I've been struggling with the most lately. Cooking for us is I'm only cooking for two people, so I have to remember that. Yeah. Cook, make a whole bunch. Uh, of stuff. It's hard. Like I try to make like beans and rice just for us, and it's like this big giant pot. <laughs> 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 I'm still practicing on measurements. <laughs> it's just us two. Beans and rice. Yes. Yum. They come out so good too. This is going to be nice because we're going to get some of these views walking straight down, which is good. Oh, it looks so peaceful out there. So the lake's completely open right now, right, Ray? I believe so. Okay, okay. Baby, I think we're going to have to rent a boat soon. Oh, I would love that. Or a jet ski. Jet ski would be awesome, too. I love a jet ski. I love sea -Doo's. The jet skis that you stand on, I'm not a huge fan of. Or that you kneel on. They don't even make those, I don't think, anymore. Really? Oh, okay, good. Good. <laughs> I don't even think that you sit too, or after all, you sit on them now. Yeah, I would love that. We should do a jet ski. My most fun jet jet skiing adventure was in Mission Bay down in San Diego because that water's always just so glassy mm -hmm. and just so flat. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a great summer with all that water that we got in the lake. So I'm looking forward to the hiking, the boating. Just, I just really want to enjoy the mountain this year. Right here. I'm right here with you, baby. And I know all of you watching 
who are at least the one or two people still watching. Um, this is awesome. And I encourage all of you to uh, take time out of your busy schedules to come and enjoy life. Because this is what I need to start doing more often. And when you have fun, fun people with you, it's so much easier. Yeah, these lizards are everywhere. Hey, Mr. Lizard. Hey, buddy. Are you seeing little babies too? Like really tiny, they're so cute. Until they get close. <laughs> well, I used to have a lizard. He's pretty cool. It's crazy how when you make something your pet, you realize how much personality they actually have. I'll be back in about an hour and a half. I had an absolute job for a long time. <laughs> Those get huge, don't they? Yeah. They're, 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 they're ornery at times, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, he's kind of mean. Did he slap you with his tail? Tail slapping? No way, did you really? Yeah. I bear the scar of his fight on my finger to this day. <laughs> hey, look, 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 right, look. That straight line right across the tip. No way, dude. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was from him. No way. That's gnarly. I didn't expect it to be like that. It was like squirting. <laughs> One more little quick look over here. Yeah, it's just marvelous. I, I, I can't get over the marina resort though. It, it really looks like just a regular trailer. All the marinas look tiny from here. Months ago that observatory was had land all around it. That's right, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's and right. So did that China Island. Yeah. That was, you could walk to it. That was all land, all the way around that. Is there a speed limit on the lake? I think it's 35. <laughs> Weak. Look at that, guys. You can see, Now we're seeing parts of the valley that we haven't seen on this hike yet. Way over there. <laughs> How you doing on water, baby? Good. Okay. When you have a confident person with you and uh, and cool cool people, it helps get you through. Like I, I'm, because if it was just you and I without knowing what we're doing, maybe I would have been stressing more, which would have taken up a lot of my energy. That's true. See, you guys now know what to expect, and you'll be good to go on your own. And right here, smell that. That's just so beautiful. Oh, oh my god. So beautiful. I mean, that is just, you know, I'm going to take a snap, just one snapshot with my phone real quick of this view right here, even though I should have done that at the top. This, this will be my, my thumbnail. Because this is B-E-A beautiful photo.
It's remarkable. One more little picture and then I'm good. Okay. It's so beautiful. Like it, it's, it's so. Yeah, you're right about that. And, and and we're just start and we're just getting started. You okay? You got it. Those flies are saying, good afternoon, Rachel. <laughs> How's it going? So you had the satellite box that had it tech capable. And those ones are a lot more pricey or what? Yeah, double with it. This was Dang. One, this was 150, those are like 300. But the monthly price is the same, I think. Okay. If yeah, I figure if I'm gonna be using that, I better be doing a lot of hiking. 150 bucks a year is is good peace of my good insurance for me. Dude, twelve dollars, twelve dollars and like ten cents per month. Yeah, that's peace of mind for sure. Oh no, that'd be twelve dollars and eight cents a month. It's like fourteen bucks a month. Okay. Okay. It comes out to, and you can either like pay for it oh, yeah. a month, or because you know I don't really use it in the winter. So I just might as just pay for the whole year. That way, there's no problem, you know. So I'm assuming if you buy the whole year, it's cheaper than if you do the month to month. I think so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that way, you don't have to activate it and deactivate it and activate it, deactivate it. Are there ways that you can test it to make sure that it's working? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Like send send a test signal or something. You I do a test SOS. Okay. And they'll know that it's it's a test because yeah, yeah, okay. That's the way you do it. Okay, that's they do a test and then there's so it's got there's four features. The one that I use is there's check in, which will say which will send a pre made message to whoever you wanted to contact via email and text or both. Okay. And it shows your location. You know what Nick wrote? Nick set it up for me? Yeah. It says, I have a small peepee. -pee. <laughs> so the message everyone gets when I'm checking in is now where it's called you need a helping hand. It's not an emergency, but it's saying you're stuck wherever the, your location's at. Okay. Okay. And then there's the full SOS mode. <clears throat> Which you'll keep sending the signal until the battery dies or until you turn it off. The only drawback is you have to have a pretty good open view of the sky. Oh, really? Yeah. Are... So if you're like down in a canyon in the thick trees, you could have a problem. I've been able to check in from some pretty thick wooded areas. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm wondering if, well, actually, I guess no, no matter how good the satellite is, you have to have that view. You gotta have a view of the sky. Yep. I'm excited about Elon Musk's satellite system, which like you'll, you'll literally be able to be in the middle of the Amazon and have full range. The Antarctic. Th there too, yeah, yep, 100%. That's one of the only continents I've never been on. Antarctica? Yep. I, and probably never ever, but you know. That's kind of a tough one to get to. Yeah, yeah, you, just, just a little bit. There's not really an airport. Yeah, there's a lot of people on this trail. That keeps your chances of messing with a rattlesnake way down. Because it's just a constant flow of people by. They don't want none of that. 
as you were saying, when you're not seeing your footing to really look, that's what I fear is just, you know, accidentally stepping on one because that's when they'll get mad. <laughs> I don't know why this battery charger keeps on shutting off. It's all right, we're almost done, so. And thanks again for letting me record this, Ray. Of course, babe, you're good. I got some toxins I need to get out of my system too, so I'm, I'm really happy about this. I mean, this temperature couldn't be more perfect. It's so nice. I I think guys Ray read up on his uh his thermometer up there is 66 degrees at the top. Just so nice. Yes, and it, it will get warmer the lower we go. Yeah, so it's 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 71 down here. So it's already gone up five five degrees, but the day is growing as well, so still warming up. So pretty. A little peekaboo view. You guys, wow, we are descending. This is great. Look at that, guys. Everything looks so much bigger down there on the lake already. It doesn't feel like we've climbed down that far, but we have. I think you'll you'll really see a, a huge huge difference. Give it a shot. See what you think. Thank you, Ray. Appreciate that. You go like this with them. Uh, or do you go like this with them? You know, I kind of do a little of both sometimes. Like when it gets deep, I'll put one down ahead. You know. Okay. Okay. Ray heard heard my major knee crack up there. <laughs> when I cracked my knee up there. Oh, I did hear that. And then that's like five times a day, dude. You're doing great, babe. Thanks. Absolutely. How are you? Thanks, babe. You both are doing great. Thanks, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> so do you do you think we would be able to have no problem making it up that other trail uh, where the waterfall is? Oh, Castle Rock? Yeah. No, not at all. Really? It is a little steep, but it's only a half mile to it. Oh. So you're saying we would, we'd be good? When you see, you see it from the trail, there's a bench right there, and you got to kind of scramble through a couple of rocks to get to the actual waterfall, but you can like see it from right where the trail is. Yeah, I really 
like these that next time we go, I, I'm never going to forget to bring mine. Awesome. They are good. You might want to get a pair for your I'm, Since Ray uses them, consider it done. You still leave them behind the car at the trailhead. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if I ran them over and they were broken or if someone just came up and said, wow, these are really nice hiking poles. Cool. <laughs> Which I hope. Look at these oh, red. Yeah. What are those? Do you know, Ray? I think Indian paintbrush, but I'm not sure. Wow, they're pretty. Very pretty. If we get some rain next week, it'll go really pop off. On this very hike here, I've seen like 12, 13 different kinds of wildflowers. Wow. And this would be the, the, the part after all the rain that we would start to see them. I'd like to see the desert on the way to Vegas. You know what? Oh man, when when we get good rainy seasons in Southern California, it looks it's like the whole part of the whole desert as far as the eye can see is just like like rainbow flowers, dude. It's it's almost like you're you're tripping a bit. Okay, watch your step, babe. This this one's a little bit a little bit on the rough side. Switchback salute. <laughs> You got it, baby? Yeah. And over here is where you did your Aztec two-step, right over here. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it. I hate to do an Aztec two-step. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Ray is so cool, you guys. He's such a good guy. So I hope you guys don't mind me recording going up and down because it's a completely different view going down. So beautiful out here. I mean, guys, look at the sky. Look at how perfect that blue sky is today. It is something else. How are your legs doing, hon? Good. Good. Yeah, totally, bro. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna start recording some of those like ten hour long, like uh, so like people can like fall asleep to it. Yeah. Um, just do like a, sounds. yep, yep, because that's how I fall asleep every night, to the rain sounds or waterfalls or. Rain and waterfalls. Or 
or or waves crashing on the beach. Yeah, oh yeah. It gets me. It put. <laughs> yeah. You know what my favorite one is? The airplane noise. Airplane yeah, dude, dude, I, dude, I, oh, I, that, that, low hum of that vroom, yeah, oh, dude, it's, it's, knocks me out. Dude, I've been on so many planes in my life, and yeah, I sleep on, sleep on planes like right away. <laughs> no problem, huh? And now that I'm older and and fatter, I, I snore really bad, so it scares me to fall asleep on a plane. Cause like. Yeah, and I mean, sir, sir, wake up! You're making a disturbance. <laughs> yeah, they arrest me at the gate. You know? <laughs> nope. Oh, stop! Is it bad? It's bad, dude. It's so bad that I have, like, at one point, I have to like go in another room. Look at love! <laughs> and unfortunately it reverberates through the whole whole little house I got. We got some explosive decompression in the cabin. <laughs> Is, is that it? It looks like it's right there. Is that it with that little building? The little building, yeah. Oh no, wait, guys, that's Bertha Peak. That's that's where if we would have gone another mile and a quarter, we would have been up there. And yes, it, it it just looks like it's right there, dude. Oh, it does look like it's just right there. I appreciate your honesty about this trail. Miserable. Well, I mean, come on, bro, let's go hiking. This trail's super easy. That's what my friend Nick Nick did to me. Yeah, Nick did that to me. We're almost there, bro. I'm telling you, we're almost there. He was saying, dude, it'll be so easy for you, and it was literally like going straight up this mountain, and I I I didn't even get up a quarter of the way. And I felt bad because I didn't want to ruin his trip, but I couldn't go any further. <laughs> How you doing? Pretty good. You? Very well. Thank you, man. Have a safe rest of your journey. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Yeah, yep. Yeah, with the huge packs with all all the sleeping gear and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Could you imagine? Yeah, that would be and then wouldn't so ways to hike around or or, or get all the times is to make it to a road and find a ride yeah see like i wonder how i'd feel about that if i'm committed to hiking the whole trail and then a wildfire happens and someone drove me like 60 miles around i'd be telling myself i didn't do the whole trail you know <laughs> people those, those people will come back another year wow dude finish that section after it's good that makes sense so they that makes sense a lot of people do section hiking of it dude they'll just hike for a month and then come back another year and do another section babe that's that's something we could end up doing it would be nice i'd be down for section hiking Happy to go from Mexico to here. That'd be fun. Totally, bro. Three weeks, three weeks. Totally. But man, I gotta. I eat good when I'm on the trail. I don't hardly do it.
So you guys, Eagle Scouts created this trail. That's awesome. That is awesome. Dude, it, it, it yeah. swung right, right, right by my face. Yeah. That was a bumblebee, I think, because it was like... <laughs> yeah, I was going... <laughs> yeah, it went right by my face. Watch your step here, babe. It's a bit... With some branches that are sticking up there that could catch your foot. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the hike with us. My shoulder's starting to hurt from wearing this 20 pound backpack for a long time now. I tried not to pack too much in there. I only put the necessities, I think, but. I gotta find a GoPro mount that I can put on my hat. So we have a little bit higher up view, but it doesn't necessarily matter on these long hikes, I guess. <laughs> Look at that beauty. What a beautiful dog. Thank you. Of course. Hi, gorgeous. Wow, you are so, wow, really pretty doggy. Hi. Can we say hi? Hi. Hi. Can we say hi? Hi, hi sweetheart. Hi. Wow, oh, what a beautiful dog. Thank you. Yeah, that. absolutely. I mean, such, just beautiful color. I, I, I mean, yeah. shiny and bright. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> you, guys, you guys have a safe rest of your hike. Thank you. <laughs> yep, you're welcome, babe. You're so welcome. My neck up here is starting to feel the backpack. But you know what? This is what I need to do, though. I mean, it's it's over time. I'm not going to be getting sore like this anymore. No. A learning curve. And I'm curving. And you're <laughs> you keep doing it. That's the thing. Yeah. You got it. Here, so there's, no excuse not to. there's really no excuse. I always use work as an excuse, but I'd rather be healthy and be able to work longer than. Uh... You put some of those people away. I'm telling you, Nick, you're the only one that's there. And... Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ordered <laughs> Yeah, it's because I'm, I'm, I'm super grateful to do what I do, man. And, uh... And it gets warmer in the summer, you know, dude. There's nothing like being out here at 7 in the morning. I'll bet, man. I'll bet. 
you get your climb in before it gets hot. Yeah. In the cool in the morning and you come down while it's warming up. It's beautiful. <laughs> that Sangro Goatail hike, dude. I was on the trail at 4.45 in the morning. Wow, bro. Wow. And then you, you get done by like 6 o'clock? I was done at 4 10 p.m. Wow, that's wow, that's great, man. Yeah. Now we just like a half hour, 40 minute break at the top. So do you just power all the way through or do no, you No, I take breaks. That's probably really important to do that, isn't it? I take breaks and take breaks and I fudge it a little bit with caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> So caffeine is no no bueno on the hike or what? No, uh, caffeine is bueno for me. Oh, okay. Like caffeine pills or like sodas? No, uh, I bring like one of those little energy coffees. Okay, yep, or yep. Celsius. Those five hour energy boosters? Caffeine gum. Okay. Oh, what? My shoelace got caught to my hook. Oh babe, are you okay? <laughs> no, she got a tire <laughs> shoe. You want to hold this for me? I was going to tie your shoe for you. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, girl, you don't have that part done? That's what protects That's your, your ankle. Yeah, your ankle protection, honey. Now you got to do the other one, Nick. Yeah, yes. One, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Don't let it happen again. Got excited. <laughs> Small double knot. I'm not going to make it tight. I like how you did that. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. Okay, go ahead. Don't call me goat head. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, wow, babe. Thank you. Of course. There you go. Tuck that tongue in. Oh, yeah. That feels good. You'll you'll notice a huge difference. Oh, yeah. Just from that one little area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my... This strap... Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Of course. Oh, it so much better. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Uh -huh. All right, let's go back to Bertha Peak then. <laughs> I'm really proud of us, baby. Oh, that breeze feels wonderful. The ski so so did I so did I yep thought the same thing I was like what are these tools doing <laughs> oh I was super harsh <laughs> Hey, babe, should we do some more of, of that Chinese when we get home? We didn't have any left over. Didn't you have a little bit on, like, uh... Oh, we, we used it all? Oh, we ate it all. Oh. Okay. But we have those sliders and... Oh, yeah, that's right. some poppers. some sliders and some poppers. Or, yeah. Yeah, we could do that. I wonder if there's instructions to to. Also have of yes, that. I'm down for that. You know what? Thanks, because I spent a lot of time on that. Thank you. And only trying to impress you too. So. Very impressive. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Oh, 
Watch out for this little area. It's it's an ankle roller. I guess this whole trail kind of is, but. I would love to do hike with like a metal detector. Like angle. Yeah. And I think cool. most most metal detectors go down maybe six inches or something. Oh, Five. Cool. We would have to go probably a lot deeper. Maybe we could dig a little. Oh, that dog's as big as me. What a pretty dog. How you doing, sir? Good. How are you guys? Doing well. Thank you. Maybe we could dig a little where that tree hole is that we're talking about. <laughs> Find some there. <laughs> 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 There's a tripper. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, it's, it's another trippy aspect about our forests. Is, our forests. Is, our forests. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why they grow like that. Yeah, because if you look at these same trees right down here, the bark is straight. That's interesting. Right That's ex exactly what I was thinking. More, more wind and maybe more, 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 more weather, just in general. When we get down to the bottom, we 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 should finish that that thing. All right. All right. <laughs> I would like to ride a donkey. Do they have donkey rides up here? I, I don't think so. I don't think so, babe. You could do the donkeys in the Grand Canyon. Yes, those ones. The ones that. They should have donkey rides up here. We have so many. That would be fun. That would be fun. But we, we, we have horseback riding up here. I'd love to, I'd like, you know what? I'd like to do that. Yeah, that's, I'd, that's I'd love to do that. I, 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 I used to ride horses. Well. I used to ride a lot as a youngster and two different times in Alaska, uh, visiting my sister, we rented horses and there's about a three to five mile trail un until you get to the big open area where you can canter and just charge. As soon as my horse, both times, separate vacations got to the end, it turned around and bolted back all the way back. I couldn't do anything about it. Aww. Oh, dude, it was so weak, man. <laughs> and my sister got so mad at me, but there's, there's nothing I could do. <laughs> yes. Yes. And the brakes don't always work. That's the Grand Canyon type, oh Grand Canyon type of thing with with those donkeys. You just have to trust them because yeah. you're literally like On part part of your body is hanging oh off the God. edge. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that was always scary to me. I'm like, okay, just trust the horse. <laughs> <laughs> but the most beautiful beach view, the most beautiful beaches. Yeah, Mexico's got some spectacular I beaches. Really nice.
How are you doing, Ray? I keep on asking her and, and not you. Oh, I'm golden. Because I'm, I'm a su I, I just know that. Yeah, guys. He let her use these. Oh, look at those ones. Those are nice. Uh -huh. yeah, those are very nice. <laughs> yes. I I can't remember. That's the pair that I left behind the car. The red one? They were red. I really like them. They're the same one. So I went to buy new ones. They're like the only blacks available. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, baby? You've got some strong legs. Muscle memory. I can't believe you're not cooking in your thermals. I know, right? Oh. Yeah. Now that you mentioned it, I'm starting to think about it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My fly was getting some good airflow walking up, and I'm like, why is there so much air? And then I, I realized near the top. That it was down? Yeah. <laughs> that looks cool, dude. Dude, dude. dude. No, that is awesome. They come off so they become short. Yeah, that is awesome. I discovered look. convertible pants last look year. Look at those guys. For all you hikers out there, that's that's what that's where it's at right there. Pants the future. Convertible pants. <laughs> It, it, it really does. This little tunnel of air right here. Fresh air. And you know what, babe? These hikes up here are so much better because we're getting more of a workout because of the altitude. So it's gonna help our cardiovascular health significantly as opposed to if we did this at sea level. Like nothing, yeah, like like nothing. There's also ones where he thought he hit record and he never did. Yeah, dude, for the Fourth of July on my drone, I flew it above the fireworks, looking down, and it looked like six different shows because of the lake's reflection. It was the most incredible thing, and I got it back, and I didn't hit the record button. Oh. And it's not like they can start over for me, <laughs> you know. Oh, dude. Can you imagine? I had to. I have to wait a whole year to do that. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was the worst. All right, guys, thank you for your patience. Oh. You're welcome, sir. Don't you feel really good out here? Like, isn't this just a beautiful feeling? Yeah. Beautiful. I'm digging it. Like, totally I digging it. it. I'm motivated. I'm ready to go. And the fact that we were so worried, me really worried, but so worried. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like conquering something. Accomplishing a feat that you were worried about feels great. Overcoming adversity. You just got to make sure you, we, we keep the dogs on a leash though, baby. Yeah, but there's animals up there too. No, but it's, it's, it's. Some people let them go. You saw those Jack Russells were just running their thing. That's true. That's true. You know, I had that reason I would worry if I brought my dog. Be Is it they chase something? The asshole other dog. Yes. No, that's, that, yeah. That, that cannot be controlled. Yeah. The dude with the pit bull, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, my Them dog. Chase some bad my little one thinks he can chase half the dog. Himself, so. He's got uh, Napoleon syndrome. He's about four pounds. He's got. Napoleon syndrome, big time. Huh. 
the, the, the dogs would love this. If I found, you know, Luna could walk some of it and then I can carry her through some of it. And then, babe, look at all this flat area here. We could just hop off 100 yards out here, pitch a tent, and just, I mean. Babe, <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing well, thanks, brother. Oh, again, that big whiff of just beautiful nature. Oh, man. I'd like to be on this hike when, when, when we just have some light drizzle in the area. Oh, yeah. Just to get that ozone smell oh, going. Oh, yeah. I've been, I've been on this trail in the middle of a thunder shower. Dude. Oh, dude. That's got to be. I, I, I see it coming. I'm like, I better get off this ridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I better get off this ridge. <laughs> yeah. People don't take those thunderstorms seriously because they don't look that big, but the amount of water that comes out of them is torrential. They get ugly real quick. Real quick. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's something. Get a good poncho because if you're a couple miles in an hour and a half or two walking back to the trailhead and you're soaked, You'll, You're gonna be miserable. Yeah, totally. Yeah, babe. Underwear get wet. It's game over. Yep. The underwear and socks, right? The underwear and socks. Socks can go first. I can deal with that. Once the underwear get wet, oh god. So much stuff to look at. Yeah. There really is. Yeah. And as you said, every hike, you'll be seeing different things. Even if you do the same trail every day. Yeah, I feel like when I come next time, I'm going to be, you know, looking at the rocks more. Put some extra water so you can rinse them off and really get a good view yeah. of them. Mm -hmm. I can see them that are like huge, really, really, really bright red. Maybe I could find like a gratitude rock out here. Something that I could always use as like a, something to remind me to stay grateful about things. Reach in your pocket, feel the rock and immediately think about how grateful you are about. One, it has to call out to you. It, exactly, exactly. That's, that's, it has to call out to you. that is exactly right. What's it? Little, little tree. The trail actually used to go up the drainage right here. They rerouted it. After the Eagle Scouts made. They just go right up this way right here. See those bushes. Huh? No, well, you know, the, 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 the guy that's the one, it was one of the Westover brothers that did it sometime in the early 80s. And then over the years, you know, trails change, they erode away, things have to be fixed. Maybe it wasn't in such a good spot the first time. So they'll change trails up every once in a while. I didn't think about all the erosion, especially with seasons like we had. Behind the dam, getting back there was a lot more, Ooh, sh a, a lot more shady than it was last year when I went back there. You could tell so much of the ground had, or the, the had just washed away. Oh, yeah. dude, it was yeah. And that ladder, I was really worried that it was just, it was just gonna give out, but I went on it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> How your feet holding up, baby? Great. So we got to really w work our boots in today, babe. This is great. I think on our next hike, it's gonna feel that much better. Good 
good, dude. It helps so much. Yeah, we. Sp luck, I've hiked in big five boots at one time in my life. <laughs> well, yeah. now I, you know, I make enough money. I can buy some decent boots. You Be know. Between these two, I spent three bills. Nice. About right. Yeah, yeah. I, but I also got the ones that had the best reviews. These are like 160, 165 for these. Those look really light. Ones. Those look and super can, comfy, dude. I can, uh, they last about two years. Wow. With all the hiking you do. And these ones I like because they got uh, you can pull the, the insole out. Okay. And like I get a new set of insoles every year. Mm -hmm put in there and it's helped my uh my arch problem in my right foot it's gone away that's i would hike all day and i'd take my boot off and my arch would be like just e yeah pain. it'd be like oh my god but you're saying that those 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 shoes last you two years with all the hiking you do yeah that's incredible what's the brand oboes oboes out of montana Oboes. Through all the boots, and these are the ones that I just pray the company doesn't change. Please don't change company. That, that's that's going to be our our next pair of shoes, babe. Oboes. Those are Marrows, you said. Yes. That's a really good name, bro. If you find a brand that fits your style of feet. And they're comfortable for you. Stick with them, dude. I I I just wung it. I just winged it. I had no oh, idea. That's a really good brand name right there. Super good brand name. For the price, I was I was hoping so. Decent <laughs> socks with it. No, it's oh yeah. Good. Trust me, the, the boots let let you go further because you're comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, they. Hiking, be like, oh my god. They are solid. Now my hike to San Rodeo, 20 miles. I felt that at the end of the day, and I had one hell of a blister, dude. I totally ignored the hot spot. I felt it. I had the mole skin. I just said, nah, I'll be good. <laughs> Guess what? Yeah, yeah, you weren't. I wasn't good. I felt for a second up there a tiny hot spot forming, and it totally went away. What, baby? We're mobbing out on her. No, no, no. She was trying to be funny. Oh, oh, she was she, 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 she <laughs> pretending like she's downhill skiing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the suck. <laughs> baby, you're so funny. Tuck <laughs> it, hit the jump. Hit the jump. <laughs> you got like three feet of air. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly, <laughs> dude. Exactly. <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on, Kip! <laughs> if I just could have made steak. <laughs> yeah! If I just could have made steak. You see that mountain right there? I could throw it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching it tonight. That's a great movie, dude. Watch it when we get home. Yeah, babe. No, that's a great, great, great film. And it took me over a year to actually watch it after it was out of the theaters and stuff because it just it just sounded so dumb. Oh, no. It's like cult classic too now. It totally is. Was that like 99 or 2000? Something like that, yep. Yep. Another movie that I don't hear as many people enjoy it in in terms of like cult classics but like uh a movie that always makes me feel good is so i married an axe murderer oh yeah yeah great film man ask her i i watch the same movies over and again because of my depression that i get and then it, it just makes me feel so much better like dumb and dumber <laughs> always always works for me Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it was because he was heartbroken. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Harry, old buddy, old pal. Come have a drink with me before I go. Can you imagine? And then uh, Jeff Jeff Daniels told uh, said that Clint Eastwood actually enjoyed the the film and actually said to him that he went through a situation like that on a date where all of a sudden he, like he, he ate something bad and he had to he had just explosions about to come <laughs> and it, he, he said I could totally relate to that scene. Oh, I have a, a friend that did that to someone one of her these guys she was dating. Oh, that's she, she said we were at a coffee shop and she put it in there. Oh my gosh. Coffee and she said that she never felt so much guilt because the pain that she saw him in when they went home. <laughs> And, she felt so bad. and I feel so. Would I would have felt bad for the toilet too. <laughs> wow. Look at all that that flat area over there. It's just there's just. Well, nobody oh, yeah. now seems to know what those ruins are. Apparently, they recorded in the Facebook community. Some people said it was a gold mine. Really? Yeah. Oh. There's like a foundation and a tank up on the hill. I wouldn't be shocked because this is the side of the mountain range that they did all that, right? Yeah. Yeah, that 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 gold mine tour, babe. That sounds awesome. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's a driving tour. Oh. And it's all through local valley and stuff, and there's like stops. There's, there's a pygmy mine and all these different. There's a spot. There's a site of an old saloon. Really? Yeah. That's cool, man. I've done it before back in the day. That's cool, man. That makes me think of another movie that makes me feel feel good because of the environment is uh, Tombstone. Those old saloons and that was a pretty rough environment, bro. Oh, well, you know, like it, it's. <laughs> we wouldn't have known any different if we were born back then, though. That's true. Eating our beans out of a tin plate. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And I mean strong whiskey. The whiskey because it's safer than the water. Yeah, yeah, that's that's actually a fact. So, yeah, and the, oh, yeah, that's true. And they didn't have iodine back then, I don't think. Yeah. You a Back to the Future fan, Ray? Sure. I just watched a new. Uh, interview with Michael J. Fox a week ago. Dude, it's so sad, man. Oh, I saw that stuff about him saying he's not going to make it to 80. Yep, oh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rough, dude. yeah dude. So I'm definitely going to support his, his new documentary called Still. I wasn't going to bring a second battery. Thank goodness I did because that charging thing is, I don't know what the deal is. But I brought two of those external chargers. So, so worst case, I could have just swap, swapped it out to see if it was the charger. Look at that. You need a solar panel on your head, Nick. I know, bro. <laughs> well, there's enough space in, in here. We could probably put one in my head there. Yeah, like an old school hat umbrella. Instead of the umbrella, you just have a solar panel. Dude, that's not a bad idea. What if I just made that the million dollar idea? Dude, dude, that's that's not a bad idea. As long as it can be it's super lightweight. To keep you cool. <laughs> what? It's gotta be lightweight, and then I think you got a winner. Look, it's, it's like a little bigger than this hat. Yeah. You know, so you got a little square on it. <laughs> it protects you from the sun. <laughs> it's charging your stuff. <laughs> Dude, right. Hey, speaking of like charging stuff, 
have you seen those backpacks that have those charging ports? You can charge your USBs and all that stuff. Just no, but I've seen a regular backpack like this. Backpacks that are heated now are uh, boot bags that are heated. No way. That's what I want for my birthday. Wow. Heated ski boot bag. Slide your foot into that warm boot. Oh, that's um, the best. Oh, man. It's the only way. <laughs> How often do you think you go each season on average? I skied 31 days recreationally this year, dude. Good for you, man. Wow. 30 was my goal and I hit it one extra day. Good for you, Ray. I have the opportunity to go tomorrow at Mount Baldy. It's still open? Yeah. Wow. Wow. But I don't think I'm going to go. I think I hung it up for the year. <laughs> Boots away, hiking boots out. I admire you, man. I admire you. So here's the, the other reroute on this trail. This trail used to go straight where those logs are. Yeah. Oh, so. Oh, uh, see, babe. If if we didn't have him, we'd we'd be in a. See logs like that, Nick. If there's logs like that, it usually means something. Okay. Yeah. Like you don't want to go that way. Well, I know we're going this you way, but go to the look. Encampment up this way. <laughs> I can't believe it's it's there's actually one back there, but you know what? It's beautiful. I just hate seeing all the trash. I feel bad for folks in that situation, but I I just hate seeing all that trash. You guys, I have a feeling we've almost made it. Woo! You know what, I'm gonna mosey over here just for one more thing. One more thing. Yeah, one more attempt. You guys yeah. <laughs> Camera off. Oh, <laughs> He's so funny. All right. <laughs> I about fainted when I saw the that deposit. It just tripped me out. Chickens out here. Oh, really? No, I am. So there's chickens. Not out here. I don't know what trail she was on. And they bred and stuff they like that? Around this area, though. What happened? They just, I guess there were some people that could not walk. Like, they didn't know what to do with their chickens. Oh, they just put their chickens in the woods? A bunch of them, yeah. Oh, in, a, in a town next to where I grew up called Irvine, where I went to, to high school also, there's parrots everywhere from like a, a couple parrots getting I've loose. I've seen that down the hill before. Yeah, Whittier has that. I looked up on a power line in Rancho and there was all these freaking green parrots. Yeah, right, what yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My hometown has that. I always say you think I'm about to make a swap in the next one because that really Yep. <laughs> and then they flourish and they babies and now there's a million parrots. 
Big flocks, dude. Yeah. Wow. Yep. And they're beautiful. Do you own a bow and arrow? And do you ever do carp fishing? Or Me? yeah. No, no, I never messed around with that stuff. I don't like hurting animals, but oh. bass fish. I had a bass boat for a lot of years. It'd be so nice to own a boat up here. This is a little aluminum thing, but it was fun. So fast. That's how they were on the puddle path. They were like, you fast so dead, boy. Yeah. Getting up on the yeah. Like, oh, oh, like, oh, and then they were like running towards you. Like, oh, freaked her out. Freaked her out. <laughs> Neither do spiders, but they still scare me like they're going to eat me. How's it going, guys? Howdy. <laughs> it's so cool to see how friendly all these people are. Once again, it, it, it's reminding me of my Harley community. In the Harley community, it seems like everyone gives each other respect right up front. And then if you blow it, then you blow it. And then you don't get respect anymore. But it seems like all these little communities, hiking communities, Harley communities, race car communities, they all have something special that they have right at the start, which is nice. It's nice to have something that deeply in common with others to give you a better sense of comfort around them, you know? Scary, scary, dude. Yes, yes. Yep, yep. They are jet black. Yeah. <laughs> water. Do you want water? Yeah. Okay, baby. Let me stop in the shade for us then. Back down to where the pavement is. So oh, fun. hey, babe. We're I actually right here. I was really stressed out. This, that was so fun. You did great. Yeah, okay, we can make it to the car. Are you sure? I'll just grab this. Yeah, one. yeah. It's in the backpack opening right corner. It's, it's in the big one. Oh, there you go. There you go, babe. That a girl. Wow, we went a long way, babe. Four miles. Coming back Actually, seemed five miles. Coming back seemed a lot longer. That was really fun. Oh, it was awesome. That was five miles. Wow. I can feel Gee, it a little in my right knee, but oh. thanks, babe. Thanks, Ray. I love you, man. This is really awesome, brother. Thank you for letting me use your walking stick. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ray. I'm going to definitely get our just a mile, hang them on the wall. I'm going to get my backpack together. Yeah, and we're sending it together. I'm going to put everything right there. The dog stuff. Like, it's, I'm, we're going to be set. Yeah, we are. I'm telling you, I think the dogs, you know, it's a little so busy, but we sometimes I can carry her, you know, at certain points. 
She'll weigh you down, babe, on these hikes. Yeah, like, yeah, true. And they're we have tiny little doggies. Yeah. What is that? Maybe it's just this looks like a, a, a little envelope with like that might have cash in it or something. <laughs> you see? You it? know what that is? That's yeah. one of them hand warmers. Oh. Oh. From the winter that okay. Laying all over the freaking place. What kind of cool stuff do you guys find at the mountain when, when, once the snow melts? Like uh. I didn't, that it's usually just money. Yeah. It's always a glove, one glove. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's always just junk, dude. It's like ninety percent trash. Maybe a nice pair, pair of shades every once in a while. <laughs> Maybe. Usually, if they've been sitting under the snow all winter, they're crap. Oh yeah, that's a good point. You know? That's a good point. That's a good point. Yes. Because people go to pull their phone out of their pocket and lift, with their gloves and on and it's just cash yeah. with the phone yep. and there it goes flying off. Wow, we made it. Look, babe, there's the parking lot right there. It's official. No rescue crew had to come get me or anything. No rescue crew, no bear encounters. <laughs> no snake encounters. No and my personal fear, bees. You have a big fear of bees, huh? I don't like bees. I'm mildly, mildly allergic to them. And that came from the 80s when the killer bee was the thing. Yes, that it's scared not me so too. Bad anymore, but it's like you know, you encounter a group of angry bees in the woods. You can't run. You can't scare them off. Okay guys, let's get you a look at this map as we are exiting this area and then we're gonna say our goodbyes. Hang on a sec. Yeah, that was that was amazing, Ray. So you get you guys can can zoom in on that. Fist bump. Fist pump for Fist sure. Bump. For sure. Hell yeah. Wow, we actually did that. Alright guys, well. I'm sure people throw away some pretty good stuff, no? Who knows? <laughs> I looked earlier, actually. Some camping stuff. You, you know what? Maybe. Maybe stuff that's like, you know what? That was too much. We have a lot more hiking to do, and we don't need it. Or maybe they probably just give it to the next person. All right, guys. We're going to say goodbye to you. So thank you guys for cruising on the Cougar Crest Trail. We went to the to the top. We didn't go to, to Bertha Peak, but we did travel the whole Cougar Crest Trail. So thank you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy it. We'll be doing more hikes like this. And our our, our buddy Ray, thank him so much because he was a great guide and it made us feel really, really comfortable today. So thank you guys. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and share. And we will talk to you guys later. Peace out.